Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Hit Podcast. After our edition, we're joined with eight lovely ladies. Let's get into it. And Louise. And Louise as well. Yes. All the night in my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you, you're more than welcome. I leave. asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me to leave? Serious. Get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not as it would seem. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my turn. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the show. I miscounted. We actually have seven. And no, I did not kick someone out right before the show. I know you're like, oh, my betray, my wild out. Nah, bro, I didn't kick nobody else out. I- I've gotten a lot better with that. I at least let the cameras turn on if I'm going to do that shit. So anyway, uh, guys, quick announce. Patreon.com slash Fresh Fit, where you guys get all the exclusive behind-the-scenes content to include that annoying bimbo that we kicked out yesterday that, <laughs> <laughs> that thought the world revolved around herself. Glasses. Uh, yeah, did we post that one up yet or not yet? We still have it, right? Uh, we didn't post it yet. Okay, we're going to post it probably either tonight or tomorrow, guys. But check us out over there, patreon.com slash FreshFit. $5 tier, you get all the 2020 content. $10 tier, you get the exclusive stuff uh, that we're going to post once per month, uh, li- exclusive live stream. And then for the $20 tier per month, you guys get all the content from 2020 and 2021. Then at the 50 tier, you can ask us a question. We will send you back a video response. $100 tier and $200 tiers are sold out, so sorry, guys. But check us out over there on Patreon.com. Get all the content, and you can ask questions. I think there's only like six or seven spots left for the $50 tier. And then we got Mr. Onizuka as a new member, member of uh, the Fresh Fit fam, so welcome. Fire anime. Uh, and then also, guys, DMsOnDemandSystem.com is where you can get the best Instagram course. I might extend it a day or so because I know that we've been really focused with the guests and everything like that. We didn't really like talk too much about Instagram, yeah. but uh, we might extend it another day or so for you guys. We'll, we'll see what happens. But DMsOnDemandSystem.com is live right now. It's definitely going to close sometime next week. Guys, you can learn how to get the girls you want from anywhere in the world, do branding, self-branding as well. And you can run ads for your business or for finding girls. So check it out, man. Yeah. Also, guys, we're on Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. Someone actually just DM me right before the show and said their friend got fired from their job for listening to the podcast. Oh, for real? At, at, at some kind of college, uh, some kind of college job, yeah, or something need, like that. We need a hiring system to hire niggas that get fired. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Like, yo, yeah, guys, I'm, you guys say I'm kidding around, bro. A lot of people watch our stuff. I did not realize we're as popular as we are. Yo, bro. do not let people know you listen to us or watch us, bro. Like, yeah. put on headphones. Like, I'm dead like serious. We're a screen comment- protector. With identity hidden. Yeah. <laughs> use, a, use, use a screen privacy thing uh, on your phone, bro. Like, I don't know what it is, but we live in this fucking clown world now where, like, if you like a certain, you know, content creator, people, oh, my God. I see. You, Louis, you, you, know, you had a funny story with, yeah, yeah. with a girl that. Um, like, ew, you're doing fresh and fit? <laughs> but, oh, yeah, what do you know about them? Well, I don't know. Just everyone laughs at them. Like, that. I'm like have you seen it? Have you seen it? No. So I'm like, so you've never seen it? She's like, no. <laughs> yeah, okay. exactly. Stupid. It's like. Well, no, have you <laughs> met the guys? Like, <laughs> why funny. are you talking shit? You don't even know them. <laughs> I get so many hate messages of you guys. Mm. It's like, why are you telling me? Why, why don't you tell him? Like, they're actually some nice guys. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> if, you, uh, if you're not We're getting nice, hated what? on. Wait, don't tell them that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no wait, you better not tell them. Them. No, they're assholes. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, yes. Uh, so moving on. <laughs> FreshwoodPodcastStore.com, guys. We can get all the merch to include the I Feel Like shirt right here, which I'm wearing for you guys right now. And also the hoodies and everything else, the, the merch hoodies. that Fresh never wears. Nigga, um, I wore earlier. Yeah, and then uh, also, guys, check us out on Fresh Fit Clips, our other YouTube channel where we post uh, clips every single day. We put two clips per there, and we premiere them so you guys can go ahead in the chat and make jokes with everyone else. But uh, yeah, man, check us out over there on Fresh Fit Clips. And also, Fresh, you want to talk about your vlog channel? Guys, I'm literally 200 subs away from hitting 50K. Guys, do me a favor. Yeah, so up, go to my channel, man. 200 subs, guys. 200 subs. That's Tonight. all I need right now, 50K. Shit. And uh, it's lit vlogs of our lives behind the scenes, not on the podcast. We're out doing fun stuff. You know, I'll be trolling and shit like that on there too as well. But it's lit, so check it out. Cool. And then, uh, Chris, you want to talk about your Twitch? Shout out to the Merch Gang, by the way. <laughs> Yo, we got a level five hype train going on and doing the pre-show. Sheesh. So on the post-show, let's make it happen, guys. We out here. Let's get it. Okay. All right. You guys, I, I'll tell you this, uh, Chris. If they're listening to you on Twitch, they really love you because no one can understand you. Facts. So, uh... <laughs> Actually, yo, I, I, I thought about it. Yeah. I'm going to start my own gang. Tur- Turtleneck gang. 
turtleneck. You do wear the turtleneck. No. I mean, it's good. I mean, no. Some people pull it off. You look good. You look good. I like it. Appreciate it. I like it. All right, ladies. And then follow us on Instagram, guys. Fresh and Fit Podcast. Then if you want, you can follow my Instagram, Unplug Fit and Fresh Prince But without further ado, let's introduce the lovely ladies and then we'll introduce Luis after. So ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, and then your current dating status. We'll start And body count. And body count. What? No way. <laughs> Start off with body count. <laughs> oh, Lord. She she has has body to. count. I'm Veronica. I'm from LA. I am do TikTok model, and I'm pursuing acting. Um, I'm 27. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you, and your current status? That's cute. I'm single. All right. Cool. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So my name is Linsa. You can follow me on Instagram at F underscore you are girl. I'm 23 years old and I currently work as a financial advisor and mm-hmm. I'm single. Fire. Welcome back. Oh, so I'm Sierra or CC Nicole. I am 25 as of last month. I am a business owner, model. I do a whole bunch of stuff. I'm also a creative director. I always forget to say that. So if you guys need anything, yeah, mm-hmm. get at me. Um, yeah, I'm single. And was that it? Yeah. And the crowd loves you, by the way. They're like, Cece, oh my gosh, she's back. <laughs> I love you guys. Shout out to Cece. Thank you. Let nah, me know nah, what nah. I say is real. Nah. <laughs> I was kidding. Facts. Okay. Oh, damn. <laughs> Who we got next? Hi, guys. My name is Nadine. I'm 21. I do telemarketing, and this is my second time on the show. Welcome back. 21, 21. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, hold on. Any, your status? Yeah. Single. Cool. Okay, because I was going to ask her, like, <laughs> so mm. you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Lord. <laughs> so I'm Batty, y'all. Um, new account is Smoky Hearts. Uh, it's a new brand coming up and stuff. And all. Yeah, um, I'm 26 next month. Can you believe it? Um, Holy! Oh my God! Holy! Happy I'm early birthday! There. Thanks. Um, whoever said. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I do a lot of work. I'm a model. I'm an artist. Mainly, what I'm trying to work on is my music, and I make my money through. All the artists and producers and people that I work with through my music. Okay, so oh. it's no longer trapping. That's good to see. It was never trapping. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. All welcome right, back. welcome back. All right. Hey, y'all. It's Chrissy again. My Instagram, Chrissy Rache, C H R I S S Y R A S H E. I'm 24 years old. I'm, y'all know I'm model. And um, yeah, I'm single. All right, Ooh. welcome back. Fantastic. Oh my goodness, y'all make me feel so old and ancient. So I'm Ari Lee. Y'all can find me on Instagram at Ari Lee, A-R-R-E-Y-L-E-E. I am a published makeup artist and model by night. I say that I'm a nurse by night, diva by day. I'm actually a cannabis nurse. So I work in the weed industry as a nurse. Mm. OneDopeNurse.com, BT Dubs, check that shit out. Um, I'm actually 36. I just had a birthday on November 1st, right? (laughs) So I just turned 36. I am married with benefits. I'm polyamorous. So my life is lit. There you go. (laughs) okay okay so two 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 girls or two two guys um you know i got bodies i was just having a conversation with someone earlier like yo i'm proud of my bodies it's it's the best of both so Mm. (laughs) um i'm married to a woman but you know we we got our we have a harem we have a harem where's you now where's who oh your man right now Oh, I don't have a I don't have a designated man. I'm actually recruiting. So. Oh shit, Lu- <laughs> Louise. <laughs> Louise. <laughs> okay, so I guess she has a harem of both men and women. I'm gonna. No, say. I just have one woman. Oh. Just one woman, but you know, it's options. I got options. You okay, know? You so know? I, I'm not sure anymore. Like you know, some girls <laughs> say, "Oh, I got two husbands." One girl came on, "I got two boyfriends or three boyfriends," and I'm like, "What?" Or some girls are like, "Oh, no, 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 it's just me and my man," and then like another what girl. What dimension no. are so. they living in? No, no. And why didn't I get a fucking invitation? <laughs> <laughs> so reply. Okay. All right. So she has the bodies, guys. Uh, and then um, bodies. And then uh, Luis, can you introduce yourself to the people, man? The yes. steam guests. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Luis Mercado. Uh, I got known, I guess, on YouTube from To Catch a Cheater, back from 2016 Ooh. and 19. Ooh, he was <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that like real? It was. Yeah, like... yeah. We got a little over three million subs. Shit. We test people. We send out hot girls to go hit on guys to see if they're faithful, mm. and also test women, which is also mm-hmm. entertaining. We'll show one. That's fun. Mm-hmm. Um, That's fun. I'm 34. Oh, I'll be 34 in a couple weeks. 
So okay. I got a baby face though. Sagittarius. <laughs> oh, you Capricorn. Do. Happy early birthday. There you go. You All Sagittarius right. or Capricorn? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. El okay, Capo. Like nice. El Capo. Nice. El Capo. Uh, no mentrosas, por favor. Okay, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, what else we got here? We got uh, Mr. Onuzuka. Myron, you're going to need Keeps to, uh, to sponsor you. If Keep losing hair follicles after last night's show. Yeah, bro. I'm losing hair follicles all over the place. $5 <laughs> for Mr. Onizuka Again, uh, fresh the type of guy to order a mocha cookie crumble frappuccino and say it's not for him. All right. Bro, stop it, man. <laughs> Robert Moreno, $5. Hold on, fresh... hold on. I got a new drink at Starbucks. It's called Toasted White Chocolate with yes, No Mocha. <laughs> No, get the chocolate with vanilla. Some All right, bro, it's just fire. FNF fam, the hardest working podcast in the world. That's a fact, friends. Robert. Thank you so much. Thanks, bro. Uh, Fine Arts, Anderlin plays games. Uh, set my bumble, Austin area, age range to 35, 40. So many boss babes, entrepreneurs, business owners, executives, etc. all wanting kids. Yeah, bro, uh, you need to bring that down, my friend. Uh, women between 35 to 40. That's a little late That's for it. having kids. <laughs> They, it they, is, but I, you know, we out here. We doing it. It's not even... How are your eggs, though? I mean, they're viable. That's are they? they are. Yeah, they are. Really? Yeah, oh, there's shit. so much My science. doctor lied to me. Yeah, they. I mean, they're viable. You can make it happen <laughs> if that's what you want to do. But it's significantly I'm impacted have to adopt. negatively. I'm have to adopt yeah, like, like, after 35 years old, like, 90 plus percent of your eggs are gone. I mean, and... I'm just saying, I don't even know if you want that life, though. Like, just saying. No, I'm going to adopt. I'm gonna I'm happy adopting. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna give a child a home to do that. when I'm rich. Uh, yeah. Jonathan Castillo, fifty dollars, two hundred more subs to get first to fifty k. Yep. Thanks, bro. Let's Almost there. He gets there, and then uh, yes, every Jonathan. every lady on the panel look at uh, look at on their guy friends dating app and have them set the age range. See what a boss babe future looks like. Five dollars. Anderlin plays games. Okay, ten dollars. Hey, Alonzo Cast. Merch gang, be good ladies. We need a good podcast after that train wreck from La Glasses Girl last night. <laughs> yeah, she was the worst. Pina Patootie, five hours all the way from Great Britain. Thank you so much. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, uh, Happy Pina. Birthday. Hey, Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ow, ow, ow. Happy you guys are doing a show this weekend. I need to take my mind off things happening behind the scenes. Hey, man, uh, prayers to you and your family. And uh, yeah, Luis was in town. So, you know, when we have special guests in town, we make sure it happens. Yeah. Normally, we don't do shows on the weekends. Uh, five hours, Tyson S. Yo, what's the origin story of the Trey is licking his lips thing? LOL. <laughs> well, it just takes him forever to respond because he, he's, you know, he's uh, doing stuff behind the scenes to unmute mics and stuff. All right. Gannon Kesso, a wise man once said, hmm, and you guys said, did some some sets. Chris, 11, 12, 20, 21. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's like a bro. Yeah, know. he didn't say sex. He said sets, but. No one understands Chris, so they thought it was sex. Five hours, Venom. Uh, hey, Fresh, where you got that Itachi hoodie you had on yesterday? The, uh, yesterday, uh, One of the supporters, actually, um, DJ Wilkins, is the one that did on Instagram, so shout out to him. All right, $2 from Desmond Montgomery. How's a womanist? Okay. <laughs> and then uh, Brandon Bradshaw. <laughs> Love the show, Amara. I noticed you say, I would argue during a debate. How about I would argue shirt? Okay, oh, maybe. Okay. There you go. Uh, why U.S. women afraid to share body count when U.K. is very open about stats and uh, embrace equality on all levels? That's five dollars from Truth Comedy. I like that. <laughs> okay, we go around the table, and since everyone wants to know People body lie. counts, I mean, you guys don't really want to. Not, not know. everyone. I'm having sex with People lie. It's just private men share <laughs> about body count. I think it's wait. the evidence of a high body count. Wait, so, I'm like, why do you even so, want to so know? So you tell them I don't want to know. They don't really want to know. You tell your man that you're dating your body count. Just say um, three. Yeah, oh, if he really wanted three. to know, but I've not had a man <laughs> ask since I've been guys, an adult. One, one mic at a time. One mic. You tell time. your man your body count. I do. Damn, you risking? Yeah. And what is it? Stop the cap. It's you risking it? If you're doing that. <laughs> you really tell your guy your body count? Yes, I do. But the, the honest one, or? Yes, the honest one. No, divide by two minus ten. <laughs> 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 that's that's that's, okay. that's the normal. Uh, that's the normal uh, equation. And then we got uh, who's the MVP between fresh and fit? Chris, of course. Would like to see an episode with Chris at the table someday. Got to highlight the man that makes it happen in the back. Okay? Yep. No ment, ment, mentorosas, por favor. Oh, no. We read that one before. Thank you so much, El Capo. And H then LS ULS, the best. HLS, the best. Betty OG is my favorite. Okay. Little Boss, shout out to FNF, my I favorite podcast you. of all time. And shout out Veronica. She's very pretty with a nice hair and nice smile and nice hair. Who's Veronica? Thank you. Appreciate oh. you, Aww, Little Boss. That's uh, okay. Sweet. Don't lie to her. <laughs> <laughs> Magic CCC. I made my date pay for my drinks because she was late and she had a little attitude. Her explanation was, "I never been punished for being late." Congratulations, sir. Welcome to Frank Castle Land. You got to punish these chicks. Uh, let's see here. Five hours. Myron's voice reminded me of Jerry Se Jerry Seinfeld for some reason. Um, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we got ten hours. Robert Reno. Watch out, Myron and Walter. Mr. Rico Suave gonna take all the ladies. He can have them. You and got then we got a um, <laughs> band. Ten hours from Canada. We need a their viable. They're viable. 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 So uh, okay. <laughs> Also, guys, so from this point forward, what do we do, Chris? Uh, ten. Ten and up from this point forward, guys. 
Uh, I'll read this last one that just came in. Five hours. Sorry, Typo. Who's a womanist on the show? Oh, Desmond Montgomery. Is there anyone on the, on the, at the uh, table that's a feminist? I mean, I don't really rock with the labels, but, you know, I have my uh, strong views and opinions. So Okay. Feminist okay. is an extreme word, oh. but I'm definitely, like, I love women. I will protect yeah. them with my life. I yeah. love women. But I'm not, like, their values and shit. They go a little yeah. far. A lot of, yeah. yeah. You got to dig a little deep into it. Like, it's some yeah. shit that you can't subscribe I can't, to. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I will protect women. With, I, absolutely. Yeah. Well, the yeah. definition of feminism is merely just equality between the I genders. believe in yeah. feminism. But I do not, not support do. feminazis. There you go. Okay, yeah. Okay. That's weird. That's weird. There wild you go. Shit. So, one here, real quick. Hey, hey, uh, L, I'm only gonna say this once. Get fresh at 50k tonight, or there will ser- be severe consequences. Do it, ninjas. Okay. Appreciate A-A-L. that, brother. Uh, hopefully, no violence. <laughs> and then Moose percent. reacts. To the last one. Go to FW the Fob Squad. Okay. Okay. Go fuck with the Fob Squad. I think is what he means. All right. Cool. So uh, first, first question. question. So ladies on the panel, please tell us one of your I want to say most exciting cheating stories of either you getting caught. Or someone you know getting caught in your friend circle. And we'll start right here. Oh, shit. I knew he was going to look at me. <laughs> Damn. Okay. So I will say the most exciting cheating story f- was my own cheating story. It's actually how I became polyamorous in the Damn. first place. Like, I, was, I wasn't I was shit, like, in my 20s. I wasn't worth <laughs> shit. <laughs> like, I, I, I know that. You know, I'm, I'm kind of proud of it. Um, ultimately I was with my child's father at the time Mm -hmm. and, um, I really just wanted pussy. Like I needed pussy in my life, like a whole lot. And you just randomly said, woke up one day and need pussy. (sighs) Well, no, I always kind of like, I started with girls. Like I, I lost my virginity to a girl. Um, but then I started experimenting with guys. I wound up meeting my son's father. We had a child. This was my high school sweetheart. Mm. So we did the whole, like, let's be together and try the monogamous thing. But ultimately, I really just needed pussy in my life. So, and he he was really kind of, he was really kind of um, conservative, which was cool. Like, you know, like, I took his virginity and also introduced him to three sons <laughs> and so on and so forth. Um, but the thing about it was, like, he really wanted to control my sexuality and so it was like okay that's cool i'll be a, i'll be your good girl at home and cook your dinner and shit but i'm gonna go get this pussy like while you at work like that's, damn that's kind of how it was like i wasn't shit like i know i wasn't shit um but ultimately like he found out about her and it was like it was really fucked up because he i think he was like on his way to like proposing like he wanted me to like be his wife which happened like right after he explained to me that i wasn't like um marriage material because i'm bisexual but long story short he found out about this bitch i was dating like a this puerto rican chick and um, they got the best pussy man (laughs) i i i i won't disagree but i also won't agree (laughs) um but what i will say was he found out about that shit the shit hit the fan and it got really toxic and after that it was like it got so fucked up that i was just like fuck it i'm just gonna i'm gonna keep fucking who i want but i'm gonna just be polyamorous and like just say that shit out loud and so that's just how i've been ever since so that's my story. Wait, so, but didn't he know that you were dealing with other women, though, and he accepted it? Yeah, he did. But niggas like to think that they can change you. Like, they think that they can, um, okay. you okay. know? Like he accepted they, it, but he tried to, like, reel you in. Yeah. For, for only yeah, he, him. He, he, yes, okay. right, exactly. For he, only him. he wanted to control it. And it was so, like, when you were with him, did you also mess with other guys? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, and then, so and, and so you mess with both both genders. Yeah, I wasn't shit. I wasn't uh, shit. Okay. Wait, wait. So shit. did he catch you in the act with the no, girl? No, actually, he he found a conversation. Damn, I'm telling all my business right now. <laughs> so he actually. He, to fresh I was fucked up. Like I went. I I worked night shift as a nurse, and I oh, left. Nurses be doing man. Dirty. Nurses ain't shit. Like, I know. Especially the ones that work night shift. Like we ain't <laughs> shit. Like we not shit. shit. <laughs> To, to regular fellas. <laughs> I'm giving all the tea. I am. We should keep it honest. If she's a nurse, Yo, I'm a nurse. You're going to need a hearse, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know these facts. We ain't shit. We ain't shit. I don't got a problem okay. saying it. Naughty nurse for days. But anyway, so I left my, my it was like at the child, it was like um, I am messenger or some shit. But I left that shit open. And I was, oh. yeah, like I was slipping. And he found like these messages that I was writing to someone else about like how amazing this other bitch was and all this shit that she was doing. And he was like, distraught like so hurt and he was really fucked up about it but like i mean fuck it <laughs> Damn, okay did he ever catch I mean, you with another man no he never caught me he never caught but he did he have uh, suspicions of another guy 
Um, not while we were together. Uh, he he probably heard some stories after we were no longer together. Oh, Bitches wow. was hating. <laughs> All right. Wow. Because I mean, I, I've always like a guy will accept if his girl is bisexual, but he's not gonna accept you having sex with other guys. So I'm trying to like. I had that conversation earlier today, actually. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. A lot of the time, but but this guy you said was more conservative, oh, so maybe he didn't like so either. Much. So. Yeah, he was. I like to call them. Um, uh, Christian supremacists is what I like oh, to call shit. them. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's like, you know, like behind closed doors, it was very like, you know, he, so I am also very spiritual. I practice witchcraft. I'm uh, about that occult life. And oh, shit. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a Scorpio. Oh, pause. Oh, <laughs> no. oh God. Pause. Jesus. Holy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Holy water on deck. <laughs> Holy water on deck, brother. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> like through and through but long story short like niggas like that shit when you just dating you know what I'm saying but then um, once it came down to like us really kind of figuring it out and I was like I was I felt like I was the perfect wife like I was cooking and cleaning and the fucking stripper pole was up at the house and like he would come home to like other cute chicks you know what I'm saying but then when I started questioning like yo where are we going from here we got a whole son and so on and so forth it was very like oh no I don't think you're the kind of woman that I would marry and so after that I was like fuck it then I'ma just wild the fuck out like I'ma be that bitch that you say you know what I mean that I'm not <laughs> Worthy of marriage, so yeah. fuck it. <laughs> put red flag in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll say this. At least she's being honest, though. I'm, I'm, yeah, at least she's being honest. That's yeah. why I'm not. I've it's even, the transparency. Like it. That's what I'm about. What about you? Craziest story for cheating you ever heard or seen? Or well, I, I cheated once. and um, <laughs> Only once? Yeah, only once. Stop the cap. <laughs> <laughs> I cheated once. I've only been Stop in like three relationships. Cap. So. And what? Okay, what happened? Okay, so um, my brother graduated from, he graduated with his bachelor's or whatever, so my mom took us on a cruise, right? She booked the cruise for us. Why is it always the cruise ships? Why is it always the cruise ships, Louise? Never yeah. let your girl go on a cruise. <laughs> Never, bro. Whoa, okay, I'm learning a Especially lot Especially carnival today. cruises. They'd be the worst. I didn't go talk about Yes, but um, before the cruise, right, um, I had, okay, so I have a homeboy, and he kind of, he's, I'm not really attracted to him. He's not really that cute, but he has a lot of cute friends, mm. right? So um, I was with my boyfriend, but there was this one guy that was friends with my homeboy. And, you know, he's kind of aggressive. My boyfriend was kind of, like, soft. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was so, a, demanding nothing from you. Just show up. Hey, so, you, you know, me? when I was around him, he was just extra flirtatious, but it's not the flirtations like, I'm just going to sit and talk to you. It's like, the Come here, like, mm. like this. She's getting excited so, telling the story. Look at her. Yeah, she, remember? she was ready. All right, RIP boyfriend. When he's not, it's not. When he's not, is. But crazy. yeah, like he put a, he grabbed me and he put a hickey on my neck. That nigga not playing. How did you get over here? I don't like it. So then I. That um, was fast. Yeah, well, we were together one night and then he put the hickey on. I think we did have sex that night. I don't know. Oh, no. She don't oh, know. Hold on, I gotta know. I got, was it raw? Huh? Is it raw? No. She don't know. She don't know. Stop Who the cat. You don't remember if y'all had sex. Who, who's talking right now? <laughs> you right? You right, baby? You talking? <laughs> you buying it? You got it. <laughs> okay. So was it raw? <laughs> What, was was it wrong? No, no, it was not okay, wrong. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, but or was it? You know, I got why it is he putting on more caps? <laughs> I'm done because I didn't even notice. But it was not wrong, anyways. How I got caught was, um, you know, I went on the cruise. So I was gone on the cruise for about a week. My boyfriend, of course, missed me. Mm-hmm. I was texting other dude on the ship, like, you know, you put a hickey on my neck. You know, I miss you. Da 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 da, like stuff like that. Yeah. And then when I came home. I knew my boyfriend wanted to see me, so I went to go see him. But, like, he wanted to fuck. And I kind of didn't want to fuck him. I was trying to fuck other dudes. So, right. <laughs> so like, I, I ended up falling asleep. He got suspicious, went through my phone, saw the whole messages. I forgot to delete them. Oh, shit. And then he just pat me on, like, my Stupid. leg. And I got up. <laughs> Oof, but I was like, do you just want to take states. me home? Oof. I was like 19. Suck my dick. Oof. <laughs> right. Damn, ruthless. Okay. What, what happened? Did he forgive you? No, he was done with me. I was like the second girl to cheat on him. <laughs> so he broke up with you? He didn't say it's over, but it was clear as day. Like when he tapped me on the leg, he was like, what's this? I couldn't. So 
what am I gonna explain to I him? I was know. like, ugh. Lie what you wanna what made me home? what made you say like you know what? Or you know what? He's not being who I want him to be. I'm just gonna go with this other guy. What made you say you know what? He's he not. was he's actually one of the looking back. He's actually one of the best boyfriends I've ever. So had. then why did you mm. cheat? Bro. I was not attracted <laughs> to him. Like I was 19. I was young. I felt like he was an escape. Like Bro. okay, at the time his okay. mom like I had just left high school and his parents retired and literally left him and his brother the condo. So it was an escape from my house. Like it was a okay. different type of life. But I don't know, but I wasn't truly attracted to him. Like I was attracted to other dudes. So you you kind of using him a little bit. He's the provider. The I'm beta not provider. gonna lie. Like he did. He was buying a lot of. St <laughs> I, I guess yes. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not even gonna front. Honestly, like, honestly, honestly, okay. I'm, I'm gonna be real about it. <laughs> I mean, it's messed it. up, it, but it, honesty is there. Okay. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> this is why you're not nice to girls, guys, because that's what happens. Yeah. You get punished, bro. Okay, so I was 19, okay? Don't judge. That does not girls. help that whatsoever. Keyword girls, not women. <laughs> right. Man, I don't want to be boring, <laughs> but I guess I don't really have cheating stories like that. Um, or yeah. any. But the Do you closest, know any people that the may closest... have been cheated on that you found out that they got I've caught? I've been cheated on once, but it wasn't really even cheating like that. And fuck, the, like my ex kissed a, a girl, an ex-girlfriend. I don't even count that, you know, like... That could, be, that could be considered cheating. Yeah, I know, but it it was a kiss. Like He could have done so much worse, and he didn't. But um, I guess that same guy, um, we were at the end of our relationship, and I didn't want to try anymore. But he kept trying to push it and push it. And, and my you didn't family, cheat on him? Huh? And you didn't cheat on him? Yeah, this is the part that, that I'm telling you now. Oh, okay. So it's not really even cheating, because we were already broken up, but like he was still living with me. So um, my he was trying to get back together with me, trying to work it out. We're still even together. I'm like, yeah, you're sleeping with me, but like the, the emotional is already dead because we already been through so much hell together. Right. We, it was like five years, almost six year relationship. My mom, my family was pushing it too because they love him. And like, he was the perfect um, average Joe husband type. Mm. But, um, I ended up breaking up with him. He was still living with me, still sleeping with me, because he's from Texas, and he had moved over here to work things out. Wow. Yeah, no, we were living in Texas. I was over there for two years with him, and we broke up, and he made me move back with my pregnant dog, which I had to deal with by myself. He didn't help me with none of the puppies. <laughs> yeah, I had to deal with that shit by myself, right? A pregnant dog. Ten of them little motherfuckers. <laughs> At least you weren't pregnant. <laughs> right. I right. thought that's no, what you were going to say. <laughs> thank God. But, um, it, well, like, while he was still living with me, I was seeing this girl, and she had a boyfriend. I had t previously told this story about this polyamorous relationship. Yeah, I was seeing them at the same time while this man is still living with me. Mm. But I don't know if you want to count that as cheating. We weren't Definitely exactly cheating. together. Definitely cheating. It was cheating, y'all. I cheated. Okay. <laughs> but I was so happy. I was so happy. And he knew what was going on. So Damn. All right. What about you? Um, the only really crazy one I have is when I found out that my boyfriend was cheating on me in high school through Have you ever cheated though? Yeah, I did. I yeah. regret it. All right. <laughs> so basically his friend had logged into my Instagram one day because his phone was broken, right? Oh Lord. Yo, Instagram, Snapchat. <laughs> Girl, yo, girls be sell selling pictures, new pictures, they be selling <laughs> everything on that on, that, on Instagram, man. Snapchat. Videos. Snapchat too though. Videos, FaceTime calls. Videos, yep. Yeah. Yo, I know a girl charges niggas two hundred bucks for ten minutes. A FaceTime call. Yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> yes. Yo, hey. nudes are, are 100 a pop. What's and up? And then for videos of her getting smashed, it's like 400 bucks. Oh, no, like, that's way too low. She like 10. <laughs> that's low? That that yeah, for a video of her getting fucked. Oh, yeah, that's way too low. Say that shit. But that's I on Instagram, agree. though. Not well, like, what would you charge for oh that? My yeah. God. Instagram? Yeah. Yeah. No, you know, rate, the okay, correct for real, price. I'm going to give you some real rate. fucking prices because I, like, on OnlyFans, I sell lingerie videos. I sell lingerie videos, a 30 second video. Is a hundred dollars with me in lingerie. Mm. So yeah, you could damn well sell some if you selling anything like, like nude type shit. That shit better be five hundred and up. Say that shit. If I'm damn. Facetime, if I'm Facetiming you, like you want to do like a Facetime call and you want me in lingerie, you better pay me five hundred, <laughs> and that Facetime call is gonna be timed. Damn, you're not playing with us. About her business. And then, and then how about mm -hmm. how about uh, for a smash video? Not gonna happen. Well, I mean, yeah. people people could charge like like five hundred for that. 
I should charge a four hundred, a little below market price. But okay, question. <laughs> if you're, competitive edge, right? If you're with a man, I'm giving you like. If, okay, if you're with a man, is that considered cheating? If you're sending laundry people to other, videos to other people. Um, if it's non-consensual. Wait, what do you mean? Like within the relationship, there's things that people don't count as cheating. Like mm -hmm. I know a man that wouldn't mind his girlfriend making their money through OnlyFans, sending actual nudity like mm -hmm. fucking and all that all mm -hmm. deep throating the yeah all that shit but they're it's like consensual in their relationship uh, i don't knock it but <laughs> like i wouldn't do something that i wouldn't sell something that would jeopardize je like jeopardize me like my body or my relationship louise would you put up with that if that was a girl that like, you're dating Put up with what? If she's selling her stuff on OnlyFans? No, well, Instagram, Snapchat, she's selling like nudes. Nah, I wouldn't. Laundry. But I wouldn't date a girl like that, probably. Not mm. that like I have, have any like thoughts towards it. I just probably wouldn't personally choose mm -hmm. someone to date like that. You know, I'd probably have fun with a girl like that. And, right. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't yeah. date a girl like that. Everybody. Would you? <laughs> everybody has, you know, like <laughs> different preference. But I know a guy that would make the videos with the girlfriend mm -hmm. and they sell it together and they make bank together and mm -hmm. they just split it. Mm -hmm. So it's like, mm -hmm. there's so many factors that could be different. Everything could bro, change. Bro, imagine like... you dating a chick, right? And she's sending homies nudes. <laughs> and it comes back around like, yo, bro, is this your chick? That's embarrassing, bro. It's a lot of army men. It's a lot of men in the military. They don't got women out there. They need something. And trust me. You're doing them a favor. They paying. They paying because they got the money. They got the money to just throw and they yeah. they need it. They need the the um the what is Sexual it? The socialization, yeah, yeah. the yeah. human <laughs> human socialization. Like sometimes they want you to do an audio call, ten minutes, or like a FaceTime call, or just like anything. A lot of people in the military are lonely, so it's so like, she's basically serving our country. Thank you. <laughs> right? you know? Literally, or virtually. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm checking us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest hamster I've just seen just now. But okay, uh, but you were, but she was on. And she didn't get to finish, guys. Oh, go ahead. So go ahead. Um, you said something about Instagram selling. Uh, you so you logged into someone's Instagram, mm -mm. or so they his, used your phone to log in. One of the yeah, two. Yeah, one of his homeboys logged in on my phone in his Instagram, and they have a group chat like every boy does. Mm -hmm. So they had this group chat, and I didn't know for months because I don't look at the little number next to your name at the top. I don't mm -hmm. know what that is. I thought that was just like notifications. So one day, months later, I don't know what told me to click it, but I clicked it, and I seen it was his Instagram. And I'm like, what the fuck? His friend Instagram is on my Instagram. Mm. Like, we both the accounts, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at the DMs. I'm like, mm, boring, right? I see their group chat. I click their group chat, and I'm like, oh, mm. no. Mm. Nothing really interesting. But one day where we had gotten into an argument, me and my boyfriend, we didn't talk that whole night because of that specific friend that logged into my Instagram, right? So I looked just to see if they was talking about if we was arguing, you know, like snitching and telling like, oh, like Nadine did this, whatever. Mm -hmm. Nope. Come to find out, I seen something. And I didn't really know what it meant at first, but he was like, oh, I hit that girl last night. And I'm like, what? Like, what is he talking about? Because I didn't know what the hell that was. <laughs> so I was like, okay, not going to pay mind to it. Until I seen everybody else in the group chat, his homeboys responding like, oh, no, nah, you cap, da 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 so they started saying things that was clicking in my head like he meant he fucked a girl last night and we were still dating we just got in an argument that night so damn yep i confronted him um he i wanted to shit. smack him but in front of the whole school said, if his friend said you're capped then he probably didn't fuck man like <laughs> when your homeboys <laughs> oh, no, are telling did. you you're capped he did he How admitted you know? to it did he show proof he admitted to it, yeah. I mean, you show, you show proof. Admitted Damn. to it doesn't mean. Yeah, it's probably it's um. If your ego. boys don't believe you when you say I fucked the girl, you probably didn't smash her. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, was he Hispanic? That's a big red flag. No, he's black. He's black. That's yeah. a big red flag, bro. That if your if your boys don't believe you when you said I smashed something, you're, that, that that means that they already know that you're not credible. You lie about fucking girls, which to be or honest, the, one of the worst things. If, yo, I tell you, tell you guys something. If you fuck with a guy, if he's your oh, like your no. homeboy, mm. and he tells you he smashed his girls and he lying. didn't actually do it. That's, that's weird. someone you might not want to be friends with, bro. Because like that, that's like if you're lying about something dumb lying like that. On your dick, bro. Lying on your dick is like <laughs> unacceptable. Yeah, it's just like stupid and it's like dumb. Don't but, lie on your or, dick. Or, or it could be that like they couldn't believe that he smashed this bad chick and it was like, nah, you didn't do that, bro. I don't know. Maybe. 
Do you think but he started yeah, the depends, fight so he could fuck her strange. though? Mm-hmm. Like, you think That's he, what he started asked it? Yeah, I did ask him. I'm like, did you end that argument like that? Like us basically yeah. breaking up, but we didn't. We just got mad at each other and said, oh, I'm not talking to you no more. And he was like, no, I didn't. And honestly, I think he did it just to like hurt me because mm. we were both toxic. We both cheated on each other. So that was the first time he ever cheated on me and mm. the first time I cheated on him. So, oh, so you cheated on him right after that? Yeah. Oh, you fucked another guy? <laughs> we were toxic. We were very toxic. So that happened. Did and... you bang one of his homeboys? Yeah. Ooh. God. Damn. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> was it one of the guys Damn. in the chat? No. It was no. the homeboys. Not have been serious. It was the guy she texted. No. Yeah. It was our mutual friend. Yeah. Okay. Did he find out? Yeah, he found out. And what did he? Is he? What happened? Did they fight? Um, they were gonna fight, but he initially was like, you know what? That shouldn't be worth it. Like, you're not worth it. Wait, wait, so, wait, wait. Was it yeah. wrong? No, of course not. Damn it. <laughs> not a cat. Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Should we let All Luis right. go last or, or next? Yeah, have Luis go last. Right. So we don't yeah. influence the girls. I was thinking about one and it hit me the one. It's gonna be the best one. So, guys, go ahead. <laughs> Wait, you got yeah. like th- I got th- a lot, but I'm saying I like I, one of the best stories I have. Of, uh, we'll you save wanna, it. We'll, save, we'll do, save it. Do yeah. one now and then do other, another one after. Yeah. Okay. We can. Fuck All right. Because he has right. two stories. So yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, no. Well, this I was going to tell my own. That I was going to talk about that one. This is another story. So I had this guy named Alejandro. He's a, he's a stripper, right? Mm-hmm. And he used of to tell me all these stories, like. Yeah, the name Alejandro. <laughs> Alejandro. So he was like, oh, man, one time we went out to eat and he was getting real drunk. So on the drive back, he was just like pouring out all these stories of things he's done. And there was this cop that went to our school. Like, I don't know if when you guys were in elementary school, they had like this dare program. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We had an officer. <laughs> Say no to drugs. We had an officer Pete come in there and like we all hated this guy. So I was glad to hear the story that later on in life he was getting married. So Alejandro was the stripper at this girl's bachelor party <laughs> for his wow. fiance, right? And he's like. Oh, like he was so drunk in the car, just like, oh, girls are whores, like just shouting. He's like t- saying like about half the girls getting married, like literally about half of them cheat on their husbands the night before, you know, at their bachelorette party. I believe it. Yeah, what? it's crazy. Like the stripper guy? I don't believe Bro, it. I'm saying like, even like if they're, I mean, if the dude's swinging his dick in their face and they're like even touching it and shit, like that's, oh, I mean, guys are not going to be okay with that shit. Most guys. I mean, like that. There's some simps out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Guy. Um, imagine you marry yeah, even the Sims won't be okay with it. It's just that they'll, they, they'll, they'll accept contain it. it. Yeah. They'll contain it. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine you're about to get married, your wife is getting raw dog by this. Wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> this is how it goes. He goes, So, you know, they rented out a, a like a hotel or whatever, motel or whatever the fuck. Mm. And he was doing lap dances in the living room. They slid the beds apart, so they're like, Woo, everyone's getting crazy and shit. Mm. And they go, Oh, private dance, which a private dance is they go in the room and he gives a private dance, right? So he takes her in the room mm-hmm. and then they're about to fuck. So she's like undressing. She's he's about to like have sex with her. She's no, no, wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. And he's thinking, oh, she changed her mind. She gets up and runs to the closet. She puts on her wedding gown. Oh shit! Then comes back to the bed and bends over and hikes Damn. it up so she can get fucked in her wedding dress the day before her wedding. No, that's fucked up. No, Did she not that? like what? Oh. Did that happen in Florida? So far. Did that happen so, in Florida? Oh, not Cali. Oh, in Cali. Damn, God. son, where'd you find this? I, whoa. So, like, to me, I'm like, damn, that's, like, she must hate this guy. Like, that's Man. a spite she's doing this stuff. Yeah, that's fucked up. You know, but she's marrying him for financial reasons, you know what I mean? But, like, she but must hate still. that guy. And she yeah. has to put the wedding dress on, so the next day when she's there, like, I love you, baby. I do. Uh, <laughs> just, like, tonguing him and shit. shit. The day Not before that, the stripper. Don't wearing, do that to your husband. She's wearing ladies. the wedding gown. Yeah. yeah. Try, Which that's is, what turns these guys into a monster. It is. And I uh, bet Have you he uh, came in her dress, too. come back from that? They got married. They're yeah, the crazy part is, ever after. Oh, like, wow. yo, she's wearing her wedding gown, which is supposed to be white for purity. purity yes. And oh it's just like, gosh, bro, damn. no worries. Yo, could you imagine if that was you? God has left the chat. And, and then you phone out? Some guys kill themselves, man. That's horrible. <sighs> bro, hey, don't worry. It's wet, all right? That's oh, fucked up. It's yo, <laughs> hey, what did you guys say? A uh, bitch is a bitch. Yeah. 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 Best advice. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. That's, that's fucked up. So he needed to kill that's her. Wow. She's trash. That's next level. Cece, what's your story? It's like I'm wondering, do I tell my story or an old friend of mine's story? I don't know. Yours. Tell yours. yours. Okay. You want to hear yours. yours. Fuck your okay. friend. Sorry. <laughs> Pause. Okay. Her shit's crazy, but okay. Well, when I was in college, first of all, don't go through people's phones, okay? Mm-hmm. That's rule number one. Mm-hmm. First of all, I've always believed in not going through phones, but the Lord made it happen. <laughs> it was meant to be, okay? Amen. Right. <laughs> this guy is sick with something he must have got it from this bitch it was like mono or some shit i think that's what you get from kissing people or Mm -hmm. something yeah so he's sick as fuck so i couldn't find my phone right 
I couldn't find my phone. He's he's calling my phone so I can find it. And I just, I don't know. I didn't end up finding my phone till the next day. So I'm like sleeping next to him and I feel something like under me. And I'm like, what the fuck is under me? So I grab it and it's his phone from calling my phone. And, you know, it just says the failed call or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I press the X. Normally me, literally... On, well, I don't got to put nothing. Y'all don't believe shit I say anyway. I don't believe <laughs> But I would just click that shit because I don't go through people's stuff. Like, I just don't. I just, I just don't. But it was right there in my face. The kissing faces, the everything was right there. It was like, God was like, I know you're not going to see this bitch unless I put it right there. Click so it. I was like, all right. No, I didn't click it. It was the messages right there. As soon as I hit X to X out the failed call from him calling my phone to mm. find my phone. Mm-hmm. Um, so I see it. So I'm like, Okay, and her name is all, you feel me? It's like Nini or some Nina, some shit with the little emojis, everything. I'm like, damn. So I just look. The worst. It's, listen, it's bad. Like, they talking nasty, okay? And my whole heart was like, <gasps> because where did he have the time? We worked together and we were staying together. So mm-hmm. I'm like, when the fuck did you have the time? Lunch break. When did you have the time? <laughs> but no, he turns peed. out Damn. she's a girl from our job. Mm-hmm. She's a girl from our job. They're talking about the fucking wife. at the job, everything. Oh, this girl shit. for one. And this is where I always ask the question, would you feel worse? Like, will you feel better or worse if the person that you they cheat on you with is ugly or cute because this bitch was hit as fuck. So I'm oh. like, you gonna risk the relationship for that? Damn. Yeah, she, was she was nasty smacked. though. Smacked. <laughs> she was fucking hit with a brick. I was hurt. Like, <laughs> man. And then so listen, so I asked him about it. I asked him about, actually I called the girl. I talked to her. I called the girl. We talked for a long time. Not only was he just fucking, he's over here saying they're gonna get together. They about to be in this relationship. All of that. I'm like, How like sweet. So I asked her questions. I'm like, did you, were you guys, you know, using protection, whatever? She's like, no, you know, whatever, whatever, whoop de whoop. I'm like, all right. Bruh. So. Raw logging it. You know, you contemplating, do I smack this nigga out of his sleep? <laughs> That's so nice. I'm a so nice. No, I'm not even like that, actually. Back then, I was, like, really, really, really nice. I've, like, gotten a little bit more bite to me now. But back then, I was really just, like, I was really hurt. I was like, fuck, like. Mm-hmm. literally I'm just in my head like at our job like that's so disrespectful like so. whatever you know so the next day I mm-hmm. the next day I talked to him about it or whatever and he just lied about everything and honestly back then I had this thing I have all brothers so I'm very understanding with men it wasn't even the fact that he cheated it was the lies for me like I was hurt but it was just cause he acted like he was an angel mm-hmm. so when I asked him about it he just lied 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 I'm like did you hit her raw no. Everything is just... I'm like, damn, at least just... You caught now. I know the answers at mm-hmm. this point. He just lie, 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 lie. So I'm like, all right. I'm like, I'm out. I'm leaving your ass. <sighs> Boo-hoo crying. Finish Don't him. leave me. Blah, blah, blah. You know how guys myself. are. Mm-hmm. The whole shebang. I'm like, whatever. He's sick as a dog, so I feel bad. And this is like after like I made him food from scratch, like soup from mm-hmm. scratch, like not no Campbell's. You know, like not no Campbells. And I made sure. And even after that, I was like, all right. So I just I just chilled and I just thought in my head like I really had to like think about it. So I still took care of him when he was sick, you know, put him in the bath. He's like fucked up. He's dying. He was leave the house. He had such a high fever, everything. So I'm like, you know, I made sure he was good. And then literally like not too long after that, I left i left him with everything all the furniture mm-hmm. whatever i left that nigga with everything Burn i went the fuck down. home nah, and me, i would have been, been like call that bitch <laughs> you know what everything. you know what he ended up no he ended Glitter up back everywhere. over her crib drove some mm, hours to exactly. go see this, this busted ass like That's what when i'm saying, saying it's not worth leaving the place intact <laughs> all right you gonna oh, but, but cc though i yeah. mean she must have the, the that ultimate god god 3000 i was just about to say that you know what maybe it partly could it partly could have been me back then i had never been with anybody either i was not very experienced but i mean like you could have i was down for to learn to learn or whatever you know but like it was the lies for me and now he'd be begging for me back he see the glow up lord mm, this man mm-hmm. be on my fucking mm-hmm. team and i'm just like even gonna talk about my ex we just laugh but I don't, it's no bad blood with them or nothing like that i wish him the best but it is funny like to just move on from that like I bet he mad now, but I. Oh, yo, he is. Yeah, that girl had to guac guac. She, she had the was She was busted, bro. The throat goat. Had God to be. Damn. Had to be. That was easy. All right. Have you guys yeah. ever brought on exes on the show? 
Like two exes have them sit across and no, go. but we should do that. We should do that. Yeah. Do that. That's that's a good that idea. Somewhere, huh? We'd be clowning because <laughs> we'll bring I'm them on. Whatever, yeah. bring yeah. like we're every good. situation. Yeah. Someone who dated, someone currently dating, and then someone who eh. mm. that'd be pretty funny. It would get spicy. real quick. Uh, <laughs> real super chat real quick. Yeah, they just um, came in. Let's see here. Uh, so we got um, let's see here. Ten ten dollars from Fran Civil. Thirty six year old baby mama taking applications. Right. Okay. Uh, Zenti, it's fifty dollars. Jabba the Hut back again. Final round. I'll have to stop picking on you. It's almost like MMA fighter punching down on a one-legged midget with a peg leg <laughs> that's drunk and high while high while blocking with her face. Wow. Oh, no, I need you to come back. I love these comments. You're so funny. <laughs> yeah, Zenti, it's comments just to talk shit to her. All right, Ot Bay, Ot OTB way uh, at Luis Mercado. Could you please ask the women on the panel tonight? Do you consider that cheating? Don't worry, we will. We'll we get will. To that. We will. All the way from Canada, by yes. the way. Thank you for that. Uh, Shin the Rapsmith, shout out Fresh and Fit for helping men get they hustle up. And shout out to CC Nicole and Vero Nika X03. Give them the game. Okay. And mm -hmm. then we got uh, James Bond Bond, Czar, $7. Uh, appreciate that. And then uh, $10 from Dylan Kumar. What is Czar? I think that's South Africa. Yes, South Witchcraft Africa. and astrology signs that even astrologers don't believe in. This bitch playing the World of Warcraft. Shout out to Fresh uh, for letting me borrow the robbery. You got anything you want to say back to him? <laughs> nigga, I don't, I don't Ferrari, nigga. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, you have for you. You have anything back to say? No, I don't actually. Like I'm, I'm not tripping. Okay. <laughs> World of Warcraft is the fucking best. Okay. Asshole. Uh, Venom. So, oh, 36 year old. Me. Since we both Scorpios and you collect the bodies, walk across the street to the Marriott after the show, trying to dip my chocolate in your peanut butter before my <laughs> flight out. There you go. Wow. I, I'm so cool. Actually, long story short, like I'm ex I'm extra extra married, but like on everything I love, like I've kind of been celibate for like a, a minute so like I'm Why just on my heavy lying. meditation shit right now <laughs> celibate <laughs> celibate by a bit she said by a, for a minute <laughs> yeah for a minute <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a hard one. <laughs> All right. Uh, give Chris a raise for finding this occult slash witchcraft chick, okay? $20 <laughs> freshman CEO. Get fresh to 50K right now, right now, right now, right now, right guys, now, right now. I need 100 more subs on my vlog channel, guys. Freshman CEO. Check it out. $10 from Chris Winchester. Is the thought still in, okay? Is the word thought still in? No. No, uh, it's three. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can still use thought. Uh, Ten dollars, Joshua Deal. What's poppin' F and F? Been watching a lot of your videos the past month while I work. Uh, headphones in. You got a new, yeah, we'll definitely keep those <laughs> headphones in. You got a new subscriber. Thirty years, dance teacher, truck driver, owner of my own car detailing business. Cool. Good stuff, Josh. And then we got uh, a Rio X A one five fifty bucks. Thank you, Polly. Chick coming home with meow mix breath <laughs> and cleaning pipes. Wondering why she didn't get wiped up. K the circus music. Q the circus music. Yeah, <laughs> hilarious, bro. Uh, Ten hours from Doctor B eighty four. Uh, older women can be even worse when it comes to using men. That's true. They That's know the true. game. <clears throat> and then we got uh, 10 bucks from NL Coach. I cheated with men and women. I am spiritual, but I practice witchcraft. We had a baby, and he told me I'm not white material. Instead of improving, she went further into the streets. Hit that future. I did. <laughs> I she did. belongs to the streets. <laughs> All right. Uh, $100 uh, from our boy, Thailand25. Thank you so much. Mine has been going into OT all week. Jada in the garden, all year mode. Keep applying the pressure, Jess. We got y'all, man. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely losing hair and uh, light years off my life with dealing with these women, but it is what it is for you guys. Sean Morris, smiling after listening to them. I hope you have your sombrero tonight. <laughs> I always have it, my friends. Zenti is twenty dollars. Lewis, she's servicing our country. I fixed it for you. <laughs> As for the rest of these three or fours, they're excitedly approving getting their bag by selling their pride and their bodies while lacking integrity and loyalty. Oh goddamn! And then we got twenty-five bucks. Doc Hancock. Chicken a denim jacket. That ninja probably had HIV with that fever. Better get checked. That ninja was raw dogging for real, for real. <laughs> what the fuck? It was years ago, but I'm good. I'm I'm good. Wow. All right. <laughs> Top run. So I'm 20 years old, making 100K. I'm 6'2", and I'm fit, but I have zero game. I worked hard to get here thinking I could, I would automatically get girls, but you still need game at the end of the day to close the deal. Yes, Facts. You friend. need game, you bro. You do. No matter what. Little bot, 20 hours. As of 20 minutes into the show, Ari Lee. That's me. Okay. Seems unique and quite entertaining with potential to be recurring after hours panels. Hopefully, uh, she won't get triggered and nothing will cause her to get Frank Castled. Okay? 10 hours. Moose reacts. I've never heard this much from any other podcast. These guys are fucking legends. I feel like they're my older brothers. I hope I get to meet them someday. Keep up the good work, guys. We got you, man. We got you, man. We give you guys the truth, man. Ain't nobody doing what we do, bro. Uh, and then, and that's it. Okay. And Brandon last Bradshaw. two here. Brandon Bradshaw, me and Coach, me, uh, me catch a cheater. I have a question. Are you still smashing someone from one of your episodes? Ooh. That's a good them. one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then LP Berserker, uh, we got uh, $10. 
My side John told me she cheats because her boyfriend cheats. I said if my girl cheat on me to the streets she go will go. You're not going to live with me and off and run the streets. The streets are always hiring. Facts. Facts. Myron, and that's from Lip Berser LP Berserker. Too short. Myron Fresh. How did you guys deal with the hate from guys when you're out with a chick? Honestly, I don't let it bother me, bro. Yeah, like, you like ignore that shit. Yeah, it is what it is, bro. People. I remember hate. I was leaving Bendon one time. I was uh my birthday. I had a chick with me. This guy was like, "Fresh and fit. You don't get no girls." I'm like. But I'm here with a chick right now. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about, bro? It's not that serious. Yeah. So it's whatever. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is, bro. People are gonna hate, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then uh also guys, uh so from this point forward, we're gonna go uh, 20 and up. 20 and up. Yeah. Uh because we got some things to react to. So we got a video to react to, right? Oh, we got two more. Oh shit. Here. Yeah. So tell us go ahead. your crazy mm -hmm. cheating story. Um, it's not that crazy, but because I don't be really crazy. go through phones and stuff like that either. And okay, so why do I... people say that? I feel like you're huh. Pause. If Don't you're with somebody, do right? It. Mm -hmm. I should be able to pull up your phone and say, yo, what's good? And vice versa. No, that being said, though, more more so the girls have that problem because they their phones are like, kind of like their secret weapon. But hmm. now I'm quick to say, let me see your phone. Matter of fact, I want you to show me it. Yeah. Nope. I don't well, like that. It's like going nope. through someone's room. Like, I don't know. I have yeah. notes and things in there. Well, hold on. It's like private stuff. You can see mine hold on, hold on. too. If I'm with somebody, right? We both cheat. I feel like it's like going hide, right? through my room. It, <laughs> but it's like, I literally, like, I like she writes poetry. I write poetry in my thoughts. My phone is my journal. There's like certain things in there that are private to me. Like, and I might be venting in there about you. Exactly. That's, that's my, that's oh. part of me. Like, you don't need to read my mind. And people need to have those boundaries in their relationship. Just because you're married or et cetera, you have to have some sort of privacy Agreed. they don't need to be all up in your ass you have to have your own little world Agreed. and i feel like well, a lot of people like it's if just bad you didn't see that guy's phone you would have been bamboozled for a minute that's true that is so, true but so, that's why that's why i said I, I don't know if anybody else is spiritual but for me that was yeah. meant to happen. Yeah. that was meant well, to happen i would have <laughs> never and i didn't go i didn't further go through it i'm sure there were more girls in there but i just yeah. stuck to what the fuck i was supposed to see but it's gonna come. Everybody who's ever cheated on me, it's come to light without me having to yes. go search for it. It's Everything been brought to me. I mean, you're gonna find it. Everything but comes still, out. You gotta trust that. You can find it sooner. That's all I'm saying. But, <laughs> yo, I mean, that's just being weird. You might ruin something good because you're fucking insecure and you just gotta be all because you've been through some bad shit and now yeah. you're projected onto the next person. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Or, yo, the poor, do, do you guys just, yo, hold on. What, <laughs> stop the fucking show for a second, bro. Like, I'm paying I don't attention. Even like, <laughs> <laughs> she literally if just said if you don't said, trust me don't be with me and that's how I feel I got a reality check right I, I searched this phone this is not what I should be doing but you lived in reality for a second and, and it saved you from a headache and, and heartache down the road yep but had you stuck to your guns about being spiritual and let me just find it's gonna possibly happen whatever you would have looked the other way and been you know probably still in this relationship with this individual yep. no i'm telling you like i just i like i said i trust i trust myself and i've always found out without having to do that maybe someone else needs to do that i'm not gonna rule anybody else's world but for me personally stuff gets comes to light for me like God, I don't know. I got some protection over me. I don't know Same, what it is, yes. but I can tell too. Like I know you. I'm with you. I'm. I sleep with you. I can tell when you're different. When you talk different. When you're doing things that aren't mm -hmm. really. And I'm gonna. And I'm gonna know. I've always felt it in my whole body yeah. when someone was doing something. Yeah. I never had to go digging through your shit and going and being extra. Like. All right. Well. Yeah. This is yeah. why I tell guys, man, you gotta live in a fact based reality, bro. And like you, you gotta. Everybody's not in tune. Everybody's. Some people just gotta. That's true. Be like that and live with straight facts. Me, like I said, well, I got, how, that's I got how protection. Men have to be. Yeah, yeah, everybody man, does nah, it. No, nah, because that's the thing. That's how men got to be. Because the thing is, you guys, oh, well, I could feel it, whatever. Well, men and women are different. Women just have like this social acute awareness of like what's going yeah. on. Men don't. So yeah, a lot of time, guys, you got to see it with your own two eyes. And sometimes guys will still be in denial. Oh, I don't think she's fucking another guy, yeah. even with like <laughs> yep. bringing evidence That's in front true. of them. Come so on her like, face, even, come even, on her <laughs> lips and shit. Yeah. Yo, what are you talking about? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> Luis, you know even you're sure, right? Yeah. Girls will cheat that. in front of a guy, and he's like, Nah, she didn't really cheat. Yeah, they, yeah. they accept it. Well, yeah, the little beta male. Depending yeah, on yeah. the situation, you'll turn, you'll turn the cheek. It's like, oh, all I'm gonna say, man, is that. Men have to live in a fact-based reality. Women get the privilege of kind of living in Disney fairy tale and saying, like, no offense, ladies, dumb shit, like, I'm spiritual. Like, <laughs> what? Like, what, what it's mean? not dumb when it happens for you. When <laughs> nah, it happens, it might not have been proven in your life, but it has in mine, so if I can't even talk about it. If you were spiritual in that situation, you wouldn't have looked and you would have said, I, I got it's fine, the spirits will get me. You know what I'm saying? No, no but, then, but they did. They That's did, the though. thing. But they did. 
but yeah, you went man. against the grain on your exactly. spirituality and you like saw you reality cut, for a second. Like, I wish Shit. you could open your mind and just. Ooh, I wish yeah. you could open your mind and just like, man. Yeah, she said she didn't go through. She said she got the phone and then she hung up. Her call, and it was the call right fail, and it was like right in there. Her Listen, she didn't right even go searching. She there. said no phone, so you should just put it down. Oh, it's no, it was right. But she was searching for her phone. There. <laughs> Listen, man, you can just justify it that. It was under my body. I'm like, what is this? And I just exit out from call fail. Boom. Girls really like be, I said, really emojis. If it was just saying, even messages, I probably wouldn't have seen it. It was the emojis it's destiny. and everything. It's destiny. Like, it's spirits. It's, it's like, destiny. how about you just got fucking lucky? No, it was, <laughs> it's been every time. It's That's not a coincidence. It's been every single time. Everybody I've been with, every single time. Like, that was just one example. That was because that was the craziest example I've Everybody had, but... you've been with? Everybody I've been with, yeah, everyone I've had, they have cheated. But I was, they were young. We were all, like, my relationships, I've only had one adult relationship, and that's the guy I told you that passed. But other than that, when I was younger, like, yeah, they were young and fucking Fresh. stupid. Oh, Fobolo says, she sounds like Neji from Naruto. Destiny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so we were at her point okay, before sorry. you. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, we, okay, sorry. Um, where was that? Okay, <laughs> crazy story about cheating. Something that happened to you or not, not so crazy? Okay, so this story, like, I was the one that was cheating. So, um, yeah, but I had broke up with him right before I left for a New York trip. Then I ended up meeting this guy, and he picked me up in this fire-ass beat. I don't know. It was so nice. Mm -hmm. I was like, <laughs> and then, so whatever. But I didn't fuck him on the trip, and then he was like, look, I want to fly you back out. Boom, 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 boom. And I was like. Well, you got in his car and everything. You didn't fuck Nah, he just took me out. Like, I was only in town for, what, a week? I wasn't going to fuck him. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> stupid. All right. How am I stupid? No, not you, him. <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. think he was stupid. I liked him. Yeah, of course you did. So. Because <laughs> you're benefiting. That's a very rare situation. You're benefiting. I, I liked him. Yeah. What do you mean? So, whatever, he flew me out a couple times, and then, like. Please tell me you fucked him when you flew you out the, the back. The second time. Okay, thank God. Okay. So, <laughs> so it was like a long distance relationship. Yeah. So what? If, I couldn't keep going out of town anymore because I had school and work. So while I was at work, my ex at the time he showed up to my job with like edible arrangements and a bunch of roses and shit. Oh, stupid. That. And I was like, <laughs> Hell no. I was like, okay, I'll take you back. And then, <laughs> so whatever, like, <laughs> I stopped fucking the guy out of town because I felt bad fucking both at the same time. Mm. So then, like, I just ended up telling my ex, I was like, bro, I met this new nigga. He way better than you. Like, I don't know what you're going to do. Like, I really Yo. fuck with him. Really, and, nigga? Yeah. And he was like, all right, I still I'll keep fucking with you. Like, I don't mind or whatever. Stupid. And what? Like, <laughs> yeah, nigga, wait, hold on, hold on. Well, he just put her in the sex only category after that, probably. I mean, that's fine with me because... Because that's where she put him too. Yeah. Wait, wait. So, so your ex said it's cool. We, we just going to fuck. But pretty much. But he wasn't acting like that. He would still take me out. Like, he Simp. would still come over, like, Stupid. every day. Like, whatever. I don't know. We're together a long time. He was, like, my high school sweetheart. So, I don't know. Like, you never know. It honestly gets you far, though. Like, when yeah, you're honest with somebody, it really, like, even if it's, I mean, I would rather have a hard truth. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Than a convenient fucking lie. Like, if you right. come to me and you tell me what it is, like, I can probably work with that. Mm -hmm. See, see, you would. Most girls can't handle that, though. I mean, I, I don't know. I think we can. You just got to really? give us the opportunity. Oh, girls don't like, mind. You can give us the yeah. opportunity, though. Mm -hmm. like, no, some women don't mind, honestly. Like, there's some, like, they would do it. So, Here's but anyways. Truth. You will probably not be able to bring a child to term at this point in your life anymore. Who, me? Yes. Where did I come from? Why you don't speak that? that over people's <laughs> lives. <laughs> 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 that's what I can handle the truth. She just said she can handle the truth, right? That's the uh, truth. That's the truth. Didn't Sarah have a baby at, like, 80 she did she was like 137 nigga, she was or in the shit. bible nigga i just wanted to test yeah, out baby. i can take the truth she and just now been. she didn't like that I, mean, she didn't no, I, I wanted clarification i just wanted to understand what you were saying like whether or not i could hand like you trying to say i don't got walls or some shit he's talking about your ovaries sweetheart yeah, my ovaries, ovaries cannot handle from a, a biological perspective at this point in your life 
you being able to bring a child to term is highly unlikely. Okay. From Extremely. A, okay. From a medical perspective, keep in mind, I am a medical prof professional. Okay. That is not the case. So more and more women are actually be at like the, the childbearing age has been extended much further than the 30s. So no, but honestly, on real talk, like you have women in their 40s and in their 50s, like, and it's not in vitro. It's not surrogacy. Like women are really carrying babies for much it's longer. It's a high risk pregnancy that. and it's not safe. And the but, probability but of a child a, becoming sick with some kind of no, ailment that's is not true heightened. that's not true it's not it's really not like you you can doubt it if you want to but coming from the medical community this is coming from nurses and doctors OBGYNs and Dr. B84 let us know in the chat <laughs> please let us know right, like more and more women are having babies at a younger I mean at an older age it's just facts okay yeah, yeah but that does not change the fact that it's still extremely difficult How you for them to do so yeah. pregnancy after 35 is higher risk period and that's from yeah. a doc actually i mean my high, my pregnancy was high risk at 19. you know what i'm saying so it i mean it just that's is what you it is personally yeah i mean it's it's each individual case that's just what it is individual yeah a lot of mercy oh god a lot of mercy like the video, I, I can't finish my story yeah yes. go ahead finish <laughs> um Okay, so after I told him and then whatever, I don't know. One day he just got mad. He was like, I'm not doing this shit no more. Like, I'm fucking Finally. tired. I was like, <laughs> all right, like, okay. And then I went downstairs. Like, one of my neighbors wanted to talk to me or something. And then as soon as I got downstairs, I was like, fuck, I forgot my phone. Dun, dun, dun. He meets me downstairs. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, in front of the neighbors. I'm like, bro, calm down. Come down. He's like, I'm not coming out. He slams the phone against the brick wall. I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm like, somebody call 911 right now. Because I don't know what the fuck he got going on. <laughs> they called the cops. My brother pulled up. And then he just left. And we didn't yeah. talk for like a year after that. But we keep in touch now. He cool. It's all good. Y'all yeah. still fucking? No. Really? No. He still talks to you? Like, how you doing? Like, it's been a while. Hey, hey. Stupid. Yo, bro, if you're watching the show, <laughs> bro, there's no... I, I'll keep it all the way on down with you guys, man. There's no point to talk to a girl if you're not having sex with her, bro. Like, Whoa. what are you doing? Yikes. I agree. I feel like if we got to know no, each other, like, over friend. so many years, like, I still, like, care about you as a person. Like, we don't have the same relationship, but I still, like, I yeah. want the best for you. Like, yeah. how you been? All right, he could talk to his mom. She wants the best for him, too. Exactly. <laughs> like, she's she's not the no, Myron, that's where all that rapey weird shit comes from. Right? He's got like, to be damn. on some weirdo shit. And he'd be like, bro, chill out. Yeah. Don't teach these men that. That no. shit is weird. No, Guys on Twitter are just chill. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> with this, with this, 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 this you know, it's shaming weird. words like rapey, whatever. Oh, no. If anything, when they're direct and don't fuck with you anymore, because you don't want to smash them, that actually eliminates that rapey thing that girls yes, want to claim. Yes, do that. That's if I don't want to fuck ma you and you on that, just leave me alone. That's exactly cool. what I just said. That's what we just said. <laughs> okay, see, he's talking. Okay, okay, okay. Because the guys don't take it him. like that, though. Chris, guys get Chris, to just hound you. I can't be Chris, friends, and Chris, then they still Chris, on your mind. Chris, end the show, bro. Yeah, um, I should have right. No, no, I just can't. There's okay. one more. Wait, 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 finish your story. Is is that it? I mean, pretty much. Yeah, that's the craziest thing that's ever really happened to me. Cause I don't like, like I said, okay. I don't really so like go looking for it. Yeah, he slammed the phone, okay. and then I was just like taken aback. I was like, "You said you was cool, nigga." Like, <laughs> okay, what about you? I got cheated on, and I sliced tires. That's about the craziest I got. What? <laughs> wait, wait, we didn't, we didn't She's like, I didn't do anything. I just sliced we need tires. A story. <laughs> what happened? You found him or? He, uh... I was 19. I've only had two boyfriends, like, as an adult, but, um, yeah, he cheated on me, and so I sliced his tires. I told you. How'd you find out? Wait, how'd you find out? He cheated on me multiple times. Mm. Like I said, I was young, so I stayed with him. I forgave him. First love, you want to make it work. <laughs> right. But, yeah, that's it. Nothing crazier than that. I've after the situation, it was pretty much over. What okay. kind of knife did you use? Was it a steak knife or a butcher's knife? Yeah, because tires are hard as fuck. Well. You gotta know. <laughs> I, have you I ever tried popping that was that hard? It's hard. Yeah. The biggest one I could find. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Lovely. Super Jets. <laughs> Yo, do you have voodoo dolls at your no, place? No, I don't. No, do you? I? Yeah. I, I, I she got one of you guys. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just... No, no, I don't. Like, honestly, like, I am very careful about who I uh, use my accoutrements and my tools on. That shit costs money. The oils, the crystals, all of that shit costs money. So you don't just do that shit willy-nilly. You know what I mean? Like, you don't just go around putting voodoo dolls on people just for nothing. 
So in the end of the day, my mama thing you give out, you get back. You get that shit back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And ultimately, like, and again, this is another conversation I was having earlier. Like people hear voodoo and witchcraft, they automatically think bad, like somebody's doing something bad to you. But ultimately, like when you sending out prayers, (laughs) I tell people all the time, like, you gotta be careful who you let pray for you. Because not everybody has your best interest at heart. People think they praying for you, but they wishing for you what what they want for you Mm -hmm. and not necessarily what's for your greatest good. But that's so that's still that's still black. Pray. Not necessarily right. like the way spirit works is like spirit responds to anyone who sets intentions into the universe. You understand what I'm saying? So black magic is for me, it's just it's protective. So if you coming at me, you know what I'm saying, on some on some shady shit, then I got some shit for that ass. And that's how you I'm triggered my it. trap card. That's is it. That's it. You know, so I don't I'm not just throwing hexes willy nilly. Mm. It's it's with probable cause. Bruh, God, I, I do not. Bruh, bruh, I don't want blessing. no beef, bro. I don't <laughs> want no beef with you, bro. Be good. It's just wicked. stay my ass over here. It's all love, I swear. Stay over I'm there. all loving, like <laughs> super chats, right. super chats, super chats. Top right. runs, top runs, twenty dollars. So I'm uh, twenty years old, making hundred cams. Uh, nope, read that one. I think uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's twenty and up. Uh, okay, twenty bucks from Raw Dog Myron. Okay, thanks. <laughs> oh shit, he put you in a. Uh, this... oh, <laughs> oh, <great>. oh man. <laughs> oh no, man, she's still blowing me up right now, guys. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, but all I gotta say is I ain't the pappy And she ain't gonna have No goddamn You kid. are not the father Yes man Shout out to my nigga Maury I know what I say About them spiritual Three or fours But them silent crazy ones Can get it bro Okay thanks Robert Moreno Question for Luis What's the only way To make sure your woman Does not cheat Oh it's a good one Pay her Oh <laughs> shit Alright Doc Hancock Yo, at least Chicken the Burgundy admitted her hypergamy I met another ninja And he better than you Perfectly said Facts Alright fair Hold enough on. That's actually pretty uh, profound what you said, because you mean pair as in like give her work, or you mean pair as in no, like... no, that was a joke. There was a guy that uh, actually he was telling us on the yeah. show. He's like, no, my girl won't cheat. I give her money, like he gives her an allowance. Like, I saw that. I saw pays that. Her. <laughs> so you know he'd pay her not to not to be loyal, and we put her to the test, and she was loyal. <laughs> so they were they were joking around about that, but I would never do that shit. <laughs> Fantastic, black ups uh, or black UPS. These ladies are talk about. Or talk about the hard truth. Can they tell the men they date their body count, even if it means losing the guys? Yes. Ooh. All right. What's your body count? Um. Honestly, I I don't keep count because right. like like real talk, real talk. Because 100. I have to, I got what's count. estimate? Yeah, estimate. Two hundred. But fifty. <laughs> Five hundred. I, I, I gotta count women and men. Cause no, that's, don't that's worry. You don't gotta count women. women. Just men. Just men. Just men. I would say, I would say under thirty-five. But I'm also 36, so, so one a year. Cap. Thirty-five. <laughs> with women, with girls, <laughs> and I started having sex with guys when I was 16. Mm-hmm. In my 20s, 20 I told y'all I was, I went ham. Like I wasn't worth shit in my 20s. So that's where I, I racked up all my body counts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but <laughs> I was thir- I was married Ordele. by the time Ordele. I was in my 30s. <laughs> If me, you're 36 me, and you have like yeah. under 35, I don't think you Some racked up that cap. much. It yeah. has, it's not that Some much. Level cap. Right? 35 bodies? For real. For <laughs> guys. We're talking about we're talking about guys. And I got way more I got way more women than guys. How many women? Real talk. Probably For, uh, 500? <laughs> no, no. I'm not over a hundred. I'm not over a hundred bodies. More but, cap. And, but even even if I even if I included the the guys and the girls, like a lot of those are like threesomes and group activities. Like I I'm into the kink life, so I'll go to like swingers clubs and shit. You know what I mean? So you gotta like I am I'm a Scorpio <laughs> woman, and I'm I mean I'm I'm real about my shit. So as long as we safe, as long as we protected, and there's, and, and there's informed consent, and like let's go. Oh, so you're saying you don't go- count condoms then? Do I not count condoms? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say that. Counts. No, you can't. You can't count condoms because a lot of times you, know, you, you go <laughs> oh, through. You, oh, go oh, through you go through about three, four, five, six condoms in a night if it's a good night. Like how yeah. who's keeping track yeah. of that shit? Oh, no, like, no, no. He's saying like if they use a condom, you don't count that individual. Oh yeah, no, I count that shit. Oh, you count that? Oh. Yeah, absolutely. I'm about to say absolutely. But what about you know the trips to loom? You know maybe you know 
Dominican Republic. No, 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 no. I really have. I have never had that. Like for real, for real. My my son's father was the the most like real relationship that I had with a guy. After that, like that's when I racked up my bodies. It was like fuck it. I'm gonna just be out here in these streets. So when you went to these swingers clubs, you only hooked up with like one dude at a time, or because I've been to those. I've yeah. Seen them. Yeah. I've been like four or five, nine dudes just railing through a girl. Yeah. Oh. Honestly, in every, the club. Mm-hmm. Honestly, it's a swingers club. Like that, yeah, there's rooms that's that do. they do. That's what they do. That's what you do. I mean, it's oh, it's no. fucking fun. You know what I'm saying? So 36 seems pretty low. But I know it is. Honestly, yeah. I've never been out with. Nine one, one session. I've yeah. never been with a another guy at a swing with except for with my wife. We have been with other guys. However, like the swingers club experiences that I went with. First of all, I was with. You know what I mean? I was in. I was in. <laughs> mon- I was in long term relationships. Like you know what I mean? If you fuck with me, you fuck with me. We get in. Like we're we're going in. You know what I'm saying? But when I go to the swingers club, I'm with the person that I'm with. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't. I've never really like just racked up counts at the swingers club. It's more okay experience. Wait, wait. So only 35 again? bodies is what you're saying, men. And then how many girls again? I'm closer. <laughs> I'm closer to closer to 40 <laughs> with with women, but I'm under 100. Security. Altogether. Okay, Robert Moreno. Under 100 altogether. <laughs> Question for Louise and Fresh and Fit. What's the only way to make sure a woman does not cheat on you. She's definitely Ooh. Like All right, Myron speaks on oh, Christ. Oh, that's a very good one. Uh, okay. Rob so, Marana says, question for Louise and Fashion Fit. What is the only way to make sure your woman does not cheat on you in your life? Damn. I mean, I have my answer to that. I mean, there's literally nothing you can do. Right. You're not going to waste your energy right. where you could be making money. So, I mean, if you're on your path, you're on your purpose, you're doing you. You know, your girl's not going to. It's like if you're, if it's the reverse, if you're trying to get her to not cheat, she's going to go cheat. If you treat it like you don't care and you're about what you're doing, then most likely she's going to be following you and you're leading the path and she's just being a follower. You know what I mean? Mm. My friends, there is no good luck, fail safe way to get her not to cheat. Actually, if you did, like, like you just said, if you try to make her not cheat, she's going to cheat, bro. Yeah. You're going to push her away. You're going to be insecure, so yeah. to speak. Mm-hmm. And you can do things that are going to cause her to say, you know what? This nigga's acting weird. I'm out. That being said, if you want to not cheat, focus on you, focus on your goals, become better each and every day. And she's like, damn. I can't find a better nigga than this nigga. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to stay with him. Exactly. And then she doesn't want to lose it because you have your high value one and two, you're always improving. She's going to want to be with you only, so. Also, and give also, her permission. And also, give her a good dick, bro. You need good dick, bro. And I'm permission. Right Tell that bitch to go ahead and, and, go and watch her stay home. No. For real. Huh, huh. No, huh. Actually, that's true because sometimes when you kind of like try to control her too much, mm-hmm. she'll be like, oh, nah, he's trying to control me. I'm going to just like sneak out. Yeah. But if you say, you know what? If you want to be with me, you don't have to go out, but if you do, you know. Right, exactly. I just told you I'm celibate. Reverse I'm fucking married. Like, yeah. It's kind of like it's kind of like, just... like it's kind of like reverse psychology a little bit, but yeah, being controlling is a turn off. Exactly. Well, I mean, it's not controlling, but it's but... still manipulative in the in no, 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 in no. the deep psychological hold on, level. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because you can tell her straight up what what it really is, and that's fine too. But I'm just saying, like, if you play that way, it's kind of like, oh shit, he doesn't care if I go out. Actually, no, I want to stay home, actually. But if, yeah, kind of. Like, yeah, yeah. If she does, it's your fault, man. Nah, I'm still <laughs> about to out. <laughs> you told me to anyways. <laughs> that, there's also some like dark tactics you can do. I mean, like if you're always around other women mm-hmm. and she's always feeling that competitiveness, because girls naturally, they like drama. And when there isn't any, they'll create some. But if you're the source in creating that drama, <laughs> then the focus is on that as opposed to you not doing anything. Then she's going to create drama for herself. And she'll start talking to other dudes and she'll do her own thing just because she needs that something exciting happening, some changes, so. That's facts. I mean, that's getting a little and darker I, with I, things, but. I would say one more thing, too, as well. If your girl's broke, and you can't, <laughs> you know, we're talking, you can't provide her a way to make money, uh, she, might, she might find other ways to make money, which might mean selling stuff I online. Mean, that's true. And uh, that's another way they'll cheat. So, there you go. <laughs> cool. I agree. Thanks for chat. <laughs> no Monaga 20 bucks. Guys, keep up the great work with exposing this. It seems like I'm witnessing pure evil when it comes to some of these girls on the show. I feel bad for the kids born today. <laughs> Real talk. Ooh, the next generation no fucks. <laughs> we got uh, Chris Mike, 20 bucks. In 2021, modern women's wombs are similar to home run derbies. Goddamn. Diseases, <laughs> abortions, popping birth control like mints will catch up to you sooner or later. Like. Damn. <laughs> Yami Marek, 25 bucks. Fuck all them hormones. After I'm through right? with the ph- pharaoh, these three or fours are next into the shadow realm. Ha ha ha. Shout to you, Kim. Can't duel. Kim Pachi, 465, 25 bucks. Jenny May had her birthday at 24, had her baby at 24, 42 years old. High risk is a medical term, but 40 are having healthy babies. Thank you. That's an exception, bro. We, we, we don't know that for sure. Um, <laughs> YC 500, 20 bucks. Needs a flutonic female, friend like a fish, needs a bike. 
I, I think you mean okay, platonic. What? Okay. Them boys be waiting for an opening. Don't believe it? Hit him up with a thirsty DM and watch him take the bait. That's true. Guys and girls really, really can't be friends like that for the most part. And we have uh, also here as well. because of you guys, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blame no, us. Like, yeah, yeah. The it on it is. Yeah, blame us. It's true. But you, yeah, that's true. also, you know that as well, though. You know, deep down that they want to smash you. But you play, oh, yeah, that's You, you true. play along and say, oh, I'll ignore it. But we're if just, I genuinely just friends, like baby. you as a person, why not? I just want to be friends. He's just my friend. That. He wants to fuck you. Suppress it. That's not they a friend. suppress it for respect. That doesn't like, mean I'm going to let you. you no, 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 they'll no, no, be like, no. all right, I can be her friend. They're but, waiting yeah. for yeah. a date yeah. to smash you. They're not friends. I'm yeah. sure that's true. They're waiting for opening. But at least they can fucking wait and not be weird. They're not waiting. You're making them wait. Exactly. They're not waiting. You're putting it on them to wait. I'm just saying, don't don't encourage these men to be weird. That's all I meant earlier, because they get weird with shit. I think it's <laughs> weird. Do what I think y'all do. It's weird when they're trying to pretend to be your friend. Yeah, that's like what those I little mean, orbiters like... that hang around the girl when you're talking to the girl, and they're like, "Come on, Courtney, let's get out of here. He's just trying to fuck you." And I was like, "Bro, what are you thinking? You're doing trying to be her friend? Like, yeah. get the fuck out of here." <laughs> those guys are little weasels. You know what I mean? Okay, we got Zentinence, twenty bucks. Gents, you don't control anyone aside from yourself. If you want to ask for stupid shit, like open relationships, pull army, or hall pass. Just know what's going to happen. However, just tell her that you won't be with her if she does. I there you agree. go. Yeah, yeah, flat out. Those, those are your standards, bro. Keep it that way. Uh, Mr. Gatsby, 20 bucks. Myron, that's why Medusa next to you is so crazy and believe in black, black magic. She definitely <laughs> lost her mind with her body counts. Stung right one of these snake pits. Damn. Damn. Shout out to the serpents. All right, cool. And we got a video to react Shout to. Shout out to my uh, coming angels, up next. my guardians. Um, Chris, can you bring <laughs> the first video? Which one is he doing first? Um, Do the, if you see the one, um, let me see, I sent you. Say right now. We'll do. Um, There's the marriage one, the five year marriage. Here, what? Uh, th- th- this one, or the next one. Wife and watches your No, that one's a good one too, though. But we'll do that one next. That was oh. kind of funny, actually. Oh, uh, wife and husband uh, reaction, uh, Chris. All right. Wife's reaction to her husband caught. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. So, if you guys don't know, if you guys want to get a taste of what my show is about or what we used to do on this, this is pretty much it. This wife is testing her husband to see if he's loyal, so we send out like a little decoy. To go flirt with them, just to see how uh, how they respond. That's Here we fun. go. I want to be one of the decoys. That I know, me so too. And fun. like carry <laughs> some silly string That's with fun. me. Silly string. All right. I might take it too far. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's like you take me to the bedroom. <laughs> All right, hit play. Yep. Can you make it bigger now? Wait. Hold on. Make wait it bigger. Hold on. With Myron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here. I'm here. All right. So this is one of uh, Louise's most. Vi- actually, no. This is one of like the top ones, right? In your. Uh, History? We got 15 million. We had something like 50 million, bro. Like some of these were big. I don't mm. know what this one's at. Yeah, these are mad funny, man. I go hold you. Like, I used to watch these. I eat food all the time. <laughs> order some Chick Fil A, eat some food. <laughs> yeah. And then watch these crazy, crazy videos. This has a uh, 13, 13 million. million. Are you ready? Yep. Bam. Oh shit. Man, you were skinny back then, bro. <laughs> Still pretty skinny, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is this Firefox? Yeah, yeah yep. it's on Firefox. Fire for fire. Five year marriage. We're gonna watch. Crystal Archer. Uh, where did Lama Mall is? Oh, yeah. It's down the uh, street right here. You know I'm this? just kidding. I don't even want to know where it is. I, just, <laughs> I think you're so cute. Oh, uh, my Seriously. Huh? I think you're so cute. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Do you, want, do you think I'm cute? Yeah, I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Um, What's your name? Are you from around here? I'm here. Yeah? Cool. Do you want to know my name? Yeah. Natalie. <laughs> Natalie. Nope. Hi. Nice to see you. Yeah, that's me. Do you want to hang out with someone? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Really? I have friends too, so. Oh, you have friends? Oh. Do you have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Hello. Because I, I, I don't know. I'm sure I Oh, that's his wife. Wow. I thought that was a boyfriend. No, that's, his, that's his wife on the side. Wow. Oh, no wonder he's cheating. God damn. I thought oh, that was I was going to say that. Like, like, damn. I'm like, I'm confused. That's Yo, why I'm savage, man. Just fucked up. I don't know. She was, was cute confused. before, but she Yo, let someone, herself go. Someone in the chat said, I cheat too. Yeah, god damn. I cheat too, bro. Yo, I thought I was damn. a boy. Right. You don't have a girlfriend. Oh, you're married. Yeah, I Oh, well, do you want to hang out anyway? Yeah, anyway. Okay, okay, cool. Let's, um, let me give him a number. Awesome. So your wife won't care? Hmm? Your wife won't care? I think so. If she doesn't know. <laughs> oh, she won't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we won't tell her, and we can go on a date. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Or you could even come over sometime, or I can come over when she's not home. Oh, she's in a living with you right now. Oh, perfect. So I can come over tonight. <laughs> perfect. I'll come over tonight. 
Okay. Awesome. So yeah, we'll never tell her. <laughs> um, are you doing anything today? Because I'll call you. Yeah. Let's see. Call you tonight. Okay. And I'll just come by. That shit sounds um, like. Good comments. No, I don't have one. Okay, you should buy them. <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay. Aww. Thank you. Thank All right. You. Nice to meet you. I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Okay. That girl Natalie I got a clear. kick out of doing this though. Like she liked sure it. She, did. she likes that self confidence. I don't know what I gave her, but I mean, can you blame her? Look at her versus her. Oh, 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 yeah. Obviously, it's not what you're yeah. expecting. So I know you wanted to test them. <laughs> I hope that. Oh, oh, stop. You okay? You want some water, Michelle? Right. I mean, I'm his life. How how does wow. he look? Like, it's, can you rate him? Yeah. Like, how you hot does he him. think he is that like she's gonna be like, oh, we're gonna like do it tonight? Like, yeah. Uh -huh. Guys are dumb. I'll say that. Like, like, we're dumb. Seriously. I got you know, like we're slow and shit to get things. Okay, so we'll go on the table. Yeah, what are your thoughts on that video? I feel so bad for the wife. Like, well, quick question, since we have to answer that Patreon, true. do you girls consider that cheating? Oh yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Cheat. But he didn't do anything, right? So nothing physically happened. Yeah, he, it doesn't he didn't, matter. But he wouldn't tell his wife. So hold on. So just because the intent in his head, like you got to hear his inner thoughts. Because mm. if that's the case, every guy every single day is walking past girls that he would want to fuck. You just don't it's hear not, those inner thoughts. It's not what happened in his head. She literally Ooh. said, like, Ooh. is your wife going to be okay? Do you and, have condoms? Okay, look, hold Girl. on, because I, I got a situation. Okay, so, hmm, <laughs> is it cheating? All right. In this situation, yes, because you could tell it's not consensual in their relationship. Yeah. But say, say, um, okay. Shout out, shout out, Tay Duns, man. You give me the best stories. <laughs> say that you working with somebody, right? And the way they make money is through selling, and they do a lot of flirting to get this sale. So it's like. It's part of like what they do and how they do it, but they're not really cheating. They just trying to get this cash, and then, then just just it's a spin. You know what I mean? It's like, ugh, is it cheating? This situation, yeah, but it's not always cheating. If okay, it's so like that, that's called finessing. Yeah, it's a spin. What, it's a spin. Yeah. That. Maybe like, that's what he I was mean, doing. But maybe that's he was like if you, you guys would both <laughs> know. But in his case, <laughs> maybe he my was just I'm saying that. Bruh. Maybe he was That's just saying wild. that to get her off his back. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll totally hang out. Yeah, totally. Bye. Damn, okay, so you guys, you guys all consider cheating to set her, that. right? Everybody? I yeah, consider yeah, cheating. Yeah. And there's a cheating. cheating. Yeah, all right, now show the girls' version. Show the yoga instructor one. Mm -hmm. See what the girls think of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> all right, one second. So and guys, do me a quick favor and like the goddamn video while we wait here, mm. uh, because well, we got like six thousand, yeah, about six, almost six thousand live viewers. Go ahead and hit the like button, guys, like so that video, we can get guys. the fucking you know get us up in the algorithm and stuff like that. Chris, we got it. Yep, we got it. All right, man. You ever wondered what? No. All right, so uh, this is uh, Luis. Can you tell us a little bit about this one? Yeah, this one's um, boyfriend watches girlfriend with yoga instructor. Oh shit! So Ooh. yeah, that's not it. That's the boyfriend. No, no, no. Oh. That's <laughs> a commercial or something like that. <laughs> Okay, but, I was gonna. All right, so we had this guy who's putting his girl to the test. Now it's hard to get guys to hit on girls the same way, so we kind of need an excuse to get next to her. Mm -hmm. So she just started going to this gym. And she wanted to start losing weight, and we had this guy. What was his name? Bro, he was a smooth talker. You can just when you when you hear his voice. It was Alejandro, wasn't it? No, 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 no. <laughs> you were here. I think it was Adrian or something like that. You'll hear his voice, and you'll be like, "Oh yeah, yeah." You can tell this guy gets girls. Oh, they're young. All right, let's That's do it. Uh, let's see what happens. Excuse me, can I ask what are you doing? I'm a personal trainer, by the way. Actually, work out at this gym. Is it okay if I give you a few pointers? Yeah. All right. Wow. I'll put the weight on your back. Keep that back I'll straight. Do you know, it just can't see you try it. Pause, pause, pause. Come back up. Come back up. All right, now I want you to spread your legs just a little bit. There you go. <laughs> now come back up. And don't put it so much on your oh, neck. Okay. Put it like, kind of like on your shoulders. Okay. Right there. Okay. Now where okay. do you feel it at? Yeah, I know what you guys thought. This was overkill, but white girls love black boys. And I'll show you a few more things. What do you think? Just stretch. Oh, yeah. Just stretch, breathe. You say good. Oh, man. All right. And now what I want you to do, 
Bring that back down. Our step back. There you go. I think she just wants to be working on our step back. <laughs> they're having they're having right. sex with their clothes. Yeah. <laughs> That's the first one they're trying to do. They don't go to that extent. Can you feel it? Oh yeah. <laughs> it's been I'm gonna say ten years now. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! oh baby, he was just training me. Stop being insecure. I think this is my cheating. Look, Look at this. We're all set. Oh! Now that one! Oh. I mean, you should just that was. That's, that's far. You know, happens, happens. I what mean, do you say? Yeah. Is it okay that I have a boyfriend? Huh? <gasps> a boyfriend? What? Sure, why not? Okay. I mean, but he can't come hang out when we hang out. It's up to you. I come to the gym by myself no matter what. Exactly. Oh. Wait. Oh yeah, well next time I'm coming oh, with you. Wow. Look at him, he's so distraught. Right, just... Good news is that she did say she has a boyfriend. Technically she passed the test. It kind of seems like it's bothering you. You kind of wanted this to happen, right? I mean, I don't want yeah, to see somebody about else break up just like stretching her out. I, I, I don't... Oh! Oh, 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 oh. She was just totally happy with it. And so you consider that cheating, I guess? I don't know about it. Oh my god. Boing. <laughs> Oh, Yo. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, 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 so ladies, would you consider that cheating? Yeah. yeah. They're like, no. Yeah. All of them are like, no. Cheating. No, that's cheating. That's called a workout. No. I don't she think. agreed she would to meet up to them to hook up. But she said she has a boyfriend. It doesn't matter. She's she cheating. It's cheating, cheated. bitches. She Stop doing that smacked shit. her ass. Fact. She liked it. If you want to do that, cheating. invite him. And see what, what if, if you was, can't invite him, it's cheating. What if she was trying to finesse him to get a free workout? <laughs> Ooh. To say bullshit. that shit is bullshit. I think it's, it's okay. It wouldn't have been she cheating lying. if she would have just accepted. He said he was a trainer. I would have been like, okay, cool. Train me. Whatever. But he started to get all touchy. Mm -hmm. she, she didn't started say get, anything. She didn't stop him at all. Like, Shadi liked it. It was weirdly, so it weirdly comfortable, right? Like, I don't know. When someone, even somebody that I know touches me, I flinch. Like, mm -hmm. I'd be like, what the fuck you... Mm. Fuck you touching me for it. So if a stranger just like, like I, I would be like, bro, back up, <laughs> back up. That's that's, well, that's know, a little was, weird. She was probably attracted to him right away then. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, saying. probably. She Shit, girl, I don't blame you. <laughs> I, I would have let. Him. I don't think it was Stretch cheating. Me out. I don't think it was cheating. I feel like honestly, March. in uh, relationships, I feel that it. March. I feel <laughs> that's not me, that's him. <laughs> Which, uh, guys, t shirts and stores. I feel like right here, that this is the uh, I feel like t shirt right here. Merch. If you guys want to check it out, so go ahead. Yeah. Okay, I feel like it's, I, I really think Merch. it's a healthy exercise for, and this is again, it's, I have a very skewed lens because I'm polyamorous. However, I feel that even in monogamous relationships, like couples kind of need to be able to go out and just flirt a little bit, even if so they... So if you're polyamorous, can you mm -hmm. even get cheated on? Yes, because it's all about agreements. The consent, It's yeah. about agreements and consents and, like, boundaries. So if the agreement is, yo, like... I don't like you you know I don't want you with someone when we have when we have a date night you know what I'm saying like don't cancel plans with me to go be with someone else then I do that that's fucking cheating you know what I'm saying oh. however like it's it's about the agreement it's it's what we agree on however I do feel like it's healthy in relationships for you to feel like as as a man and as a woman like I still got that shit and honestly I when agree. a lot of times when people come home like nothing really happened here you know what I mean but when they come home a lot of times it's like they're revved up like I still got that shit now let me give that energy back to you you know what I'm saying and in a lot of ways like I feel like that fosters chemistry and passion and connection in monogamous relationships I don't feel like that's I don't feel like that's cheating what do you think Fresh? Merch. bruh you just said a bunch of stuff there I'm trying to figure out a lot of word salad <laughs> yo that that's cheating to me bro another dude touching my girl bro you bought it Nah, dog. It kind of makes sense what she said, though. I don't know. I'm an open minded person. I always Thank try you. to get with perspective, but that shit kind of makes sense. How would you feel if you did that? 
I would never do that shit. I'm okay. not going to lie. I would exactly. never do that shit. Exactly. But I'm just trying to see, like, I'm trying to think of other people, like maybe older people that have been together for yes. a long ass time. Older people I don't know, like, like Aisha that. Curry who had her little thing where she just felt like nobody sees her mm. or something. Maybe she just needs somebody to flirt with her one time and she went mm. went back to Curry and been yeah. like, yes. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I love getting flirted with. I don't older know. people like yeah. that I feel like attention. maybe you've just been in this yeah. relationship for a long ass time. I'm trying to kind of be understanding or see where it mm. could come from. Yeah. And I could definitely maybe see how that might get them kind of fired up like I'm about to go Mm-hmm. Now yeah. I want to. I mean, I'm yeah, this is so no, I don't know. Me right now at 24, that's not happening. Yeah, that's not cheating. right now. Nah, <laughs> not right now. Maybe I'm, when we're in our 60s, I'll probably let you go have your little fun yeah, and go and dance with laughing. the young girls on a boat. And then no. you come tell me about it, like yeah, <laughs> but, I'll be like, oh, you ain't going nowhere. Right. <laughs> it's very Will and Jada though. Like so statistically, <sighs> like couples who allow that freedom <sighs> to explore within, like you said, those that consent and those agreements, those marriages they last longer yeah I don't know, know. I, I appreciate don't. people's youth too like if my man is out <laughs> there and you're at the club the and you get some dances I don't give a fuck we're young you better go right. and yeah. have fun right. like as long as you're not yeah to that point where you actually brought the girl home and executed the shit like but once we're once we're married and stuff and all that like and we're really like older like that shit's gotta you gotta chill out but even then once we're older yeah, I'm about no, to say I'm to be married as fuck and I, I want that like, even more now like my wife and I we've been together we just celebrated our fifth year marriage anniversary and it's going into our fifth year anniversary that we're like I think it's time for us like we've been monogamous this whole time that we've been married and obviously I went into my marriage polyamorous she knew that but I was willing to be monogamous with her and for her at five years we're like all right shit let's fucking let's go have fun let's play let's explore you know what I'm saying Mm -hmm. so it's like a lot of people don't realize that either it's just because you are polyamorous doesn't mean that that you fucking everybody yeah and it doesn't mean you won't chill out to respect your partner exactly yeah exactly it's man it's like polyamory is way more boring than most people understand like it's so much conversation that has it's way more conversation than fucking you know what I'm saying because we gotta have those agreements we gotta have those strong boundaries and we we must like do what we can to protect that. Okay. The that was... I know that shit boring, but you know it is. No, what it this is, is just <laughs> thing we learn, like, we learn learn some about, things. Yeah. Yo, this yeah. conversation really all it proves is that like women really be sticking together even when they're <laughs> with each I other's like bullshit like literally he just asked her straight to her face would you do that no I wouldn't do that but I could still see why blah, 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 blah. I try to be open minded at all and, everything you guys but, talk about but, but, y'all so like, funny like <laughs> open minded like it's always what I've come to realize with women when they say I'm open minded or I don't knock her for it is that if just because a woman thinks so a certain way right now, she never wants to be able to. She never. She always wants to be able to open, uh, hold the reservation to be able to think that other way later on in her life if something changes. We grow. So, change. for example, if a girl is in a monogamous relationship, right, and she she'll say, "Oh well, I wouldn't do that because I'm in a love relationship, but I can see why she would do that." Like you know, it's okay, no big deal, girl. Go ahead and go through your whole phase. Like women are very, uh, how do I say this? They're very worried to 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 shame each other, in, at least to their face. Careful, yeah, yeah. Man, they're, I don't to their believe face. that shit. Like, we will check the bitch. I'll like, tell you like, if you're on yeah. some hard. Can I finish? Can yeah. I finish? Because oh, y'all might. just y'all just yapping and yapping at this point. So they'll 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 they'll, they'll, they'll say what's politically correct. They don't want to offend each other in person. Yep. But when that girl leaves, oh that bitch a hoe. I would never yep. do that Probably. shit. Facts. That's what I've come to realize. And the other thing too is that. Man, I'm just gonna fucking say I'm gonna offend y'all. But whatever. Like say it, this whole polyamory thing, whatever, it's fucking cat, bro. If a woman is with a man she truly admires, loves, and respects, she will never fucking look at another guy, another woman, Sex. nothing, bro. Sex. Women nah. are not capable. One person, of, damn, I can't even finish. just look. Let nah, that person gives you finish. everything already. Let me finish. Like, stop interrupting me when I talk, guys. Like, it's extremely annoying. I'll let y'all talk. And I'm gonna make my point real quick. And then you guys can go ahead and you'll be fine and rebut it. But what I'm trying to say is that when a woman loves a man and he's her, she's she truly loves and admires, respects him. Everyone else is fucking invisible to her. It's only in this clown world that we live in where women can say, oh, no, I love two different men, blah, blah, blah. Fucking cap. The reality is if you have two different guys or whatever it is, one of those guys is deficient in something yep. that you need as a woman. Whether Lacking. it's financial yep. or whether it's that assertiveness, or that aggressiveness. When a woman is dating multiple guys, that means that each of these guys bring some kind of component. Some idiot's paying for her bag, some other idiot's giving her dick only, and another guy is listening to her fucking problems. But the point is, is that if she loves and inspires, respects one man, she's going to stick with that guy. It just so happens, though, that a lot of guys don't have the full package. So what do girls have to do? They got to acquiesce to it. Okay, I got to have two or three guys to fill this role, or they stay single and play the field. It's one of those things. But a woman can never serve two masters. It just doesn't work. Because yep. if, if you guys could, 
you wouldn't be running like you you'd be running around fucking everybody, but you don't. You pay, you're very selective on who you have sex with. Can this guy fill a certain void for me? If he can, yes. Whether it's financial or you know the the arousal, whatever it is. So it is what it is. And then you said yourself, I'm celibate right now. I mean that kind of proves my point in it in itself because it's like, well, I'm celibate because someone doesn't fill a certain thing. Like women don't just give themselves sexually like that. It just just doesn't just doesn't work. Like we could sit here and say, oh. Open sexually, blah blah blah. You're really not though. You're gonna be extremely selective on who you fuck. Yep. You know what Always. I'm saying? To some degree. Always. Like the guy's gotta bring value. It's not the other way around where a guy can smash any girl and she brings no value women don't operate like that so that's why i always laugh when women say oh i i you know uh, I'm, I'm doing this and i'm doing that and i have this guy and this that it's like nah bro like it just means that you don't really respect those guys that much because you're you have multiple of them because most guys would never allow a girl to run around and fuck other dudes they just they're just not facts even the most beta male of dude is gonna have his fucking stomach turn when he finds out that you're fucking other guys. He might sit there and accept it, like, okay, I'll watch you fuck another guy. Mm-hmm. But deep down, he wishes he didn't have to be in that position. Yep. Of course. He's accepting it out of necessity, not because he wants to. I so if agree. you guys want anything, now I'm done with my point. Anyone want to go? Excellent point. Um, I have mm-hmm. a question. That go goes ahead. both ways, what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. Because men and women are not the same. Okay. A man that can get many women is extremely attractive to other women. A woman that fucks a bunch of dudes is not attractive to anybody. <laughs> We're not the same whatsoever. It's still, if, it's still like if people are really in love, then I don't. It's really, really rare for either party to go out and have eyes for other people. But I, I men do believe that a lot of men don't really try, don't really truly ever experience real like being in love. I think that they experience a lot of infatuation mm-hmm. and a lot of just love but not that that men love far differently than women do that's the problem you're looking at love from the female lens yeah yeah yeah. for a woman to love a man she's got to respect him first and that respect comes it's got to be the the foundation once she respects him she knows okay i can't really do better than this guy so i'm not gonna fuck other dudes he's the best that i can get bam that's what keeps you loyal with men Mm -hmm. however we love you guys for real we love you guys like this is my girl i'm gonna be willing to die for her us fucking other bitches is not the same at all for you, that's how you show love is through fidelity. We show love through willing to share our resources, our time, and most importantly, being willing to die to protect you. Which is what you took all your time building up. So it's not something you're just going to give away so easily. 100%. Mm-hmm. Which is why it, it's simply it's simple like this, ladies. If you meet a guy and he's willing to buy you a Gucci bag within 10 minutes of meeting you, pay money, all this extra shit, are you going to respect him? No. You're not. They're not they're Let's not keep there. it a thousand. No. You're not. You're, you're gonna, gonna finesse him. him. You're gonna finesse him. If yeah. a guy meets a girl and he fucks her quickly and she didn't build any value, what does he do? He don't take her serious. So a man that's quick to give away his resources, time, attention, and protection is not respected. Just like a woman that's quick to give away sex and, and, and intimacy very quickly is not respected. You know, on a balance of probabilities. It goes the same way. So y'all aren't gonna respect the simp, men aren't gonna respect the hoe. I think that it's very interesting that we apply like a timeline to it, though. You know what I mean? Because to to think that women, especially, or men who fuck multiple people, that they're doing it immediately. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a, again, I say that's not a part of the polyamorous, like, ideologies. Again, we're having more conversation than we are sex. You know what I mean? Like, we're spending more time, like, coming up with conscious, connective agreements than we are just, oh, I met you and I like you, or you bought me a bag and so I'm gonna fuck you right now. That's we're, from the female we're, perspective, We're though. actually, it's not. It's both It's both perspectives. It's, the, it's males and females that's doing it because that's what poly- polyamory is about you want to hear a secret you sure men only sit there and talk to you and build an emotional connection because they're trying to get sex that's absolutely fine and to to give you a a, a secret listen hold up though a secret is that a lot of women just want sex too like y'all think that women women fuck because we want to be with y'all or some shit and that's not the case like a lot of times women just want to fuck like that's just it you know what i'm saying how long what you mean? Like how long? How long do you want to just fuck for? You can't do that forever. It depends on the situation. So if I had a, if I, I have lovers where I don't have sex with them at all. I think one of y'all said that. Where it's like, yo, with dudes. Yes. R.I.P. Yes. Yes. R.I.P. To yes. Them. You know what I'm Man, saying? Like, I know Amarin. Uh, because uh, it's about it's about the intimacy. It's about the intimacy of it all. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. if. 
you wanting me to pause real quick? No, 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 no. no. Um, I was talking to Chris. Go ahead. Okay. I wanted you to finish your point. But if it's if it's you know what I mean? If if there's there's a mutual exchange of energy, oh. it's about the energetic exchange. You know what I'm saying? So if you giving me good fucking con- if I can come to you, you know what I mean? We we joke all the time about like work bay, like that's my work husband or whatever. Yeah. Women have those friends, friends in quotations, where she's able to share that though like intimate moments that yo, this is not somebody that she hitting off, but he gives her something. You know what I mean? It's an energetic exchange and a lot of times I think we discount the fact that that is sex you know what I mean like sex is not just a physical interaction a lot of times it's a mental emotional spiritual intimacy that is a sexual exchange and that's what polyamory is this is the difference between men and women you can look at it like that but any other guy does not look at conversation and emotional connection as sex men are physical creatures like you know what I'm saying women there's Men lie, right? Men lie through their words. Women lie through their looks. That's why women wear makeup and men fucking lie all the time and say what women want to hear. Like, guys tell you that, oh, I'm here. I can listen to your bullshit for a couple hours and it's emotional. For, like, nah, man, they're trying to get laid. It's just that <laughs> some that. guys, some men can't be direct. And some men don't have the ability and or the status or value to be direct. It takes a certain level of guy with a certain level of, how do I say, callousness and uh, directness to be able to tell a girl, Listen, man, I'm interested in you sexually. What's up? Oh, 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 well, I don't know. And then bang. And then the girl rejects him. A lot of guys don't want rejection. So they'll sit there and play the game and lie to you and say, oh, I can, (laughs) whatever. What what was those words you were saying? Like spirituality and emotional connection and all this is bullshit. It's cat. Like, guys, the only reason nine out of ten times men deal with women and sit there and talk to you guys is for sexual access. You guys are not that interesting. You guys are not that Mm. cool. And men don't give a fuck about you. They want to get laid, I'm telling you. If you call him right now and said, let's fuck, he's coming over. He's fucking driving, like fucking, whether he's running or he's fucking driving, he's coming to smash, bro. Like, I I don't know why women have this crazy hubris to think, men just wanna sit here and talk to me and get to know me and emotional connection, all that other shit. No, that's what you want. They're gonna say what they gotta say to get laid. It's just that some guys don't have the value to be honest to tell you, Bitch, I'm trying to fuck. What you trying to do? I receive oh, that. No, yeah, oh, you, you gotta oh, have big oh. pockets. I think about that. it. Look at a rapper like Future. <laughs> he tells chicks straight up, if you don't fuck, you're getting kicked out. Musicians, you know, I know for a fact, a couple of rappers, Chris Brown, whatever, when they have these house parties, they tell the girls up front, if we're not fucking, I'm kicking you out. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And y'all know what I'm yeah, talking about. But why? Ass. Think about it. Let's let's that let's, let's, let's break this that. down. Oh, why let's can break they it down. do that? Let's break it down. Break it down. Yeah. Why can they there. do that? You want to know why they can do that? They can do that because they have the high. leverage. They're the highest status guy. A lot of bitches want to fuck them. So guess what? The more bitches that want to fuck me, the more honest I can be. Bitch, you trying to smash or not? No? Okay. Turn into Leonidas. Yes, yes. Future tour bus. Bang, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Kick her off, right? But if a man doesn't have value, what does he got to do? He's got to play the long game. Oh, I'll sit there and listen to your problems. Oh, he cheated on you. Oh, my God. That's so fucked up. He's sitting there and he'll listen to your problems because he doesn't have the value to tell you straight up. Bitch, I don't care about your problems. Let's smash. You can't do it. Oh, a, I receive that. Oh, you're a Scorpio? Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, ladies, I'm giving y'all game right now. You sure. might not like me here, me this... telling you this, but, man, really don't give a yeah. fuck about your sign, what you do for work, your life, any of that shit. They want to have sex, and they're playing the long game. And, honestly, I respect the guys that are more honest that have the higher value. Hey, you want to smash? No, get the fuck out. I do too. Hold on. Quick commercial break here. Let's go ahead and don't forget, guys. We got a course live right now, man. Yes, on my system. Yes, on my system.com. So, you want me to get your Instagram on point, get girls, personal branding, and business, check it out. And then we got also, as well, um, I believe some super chats here and then merch. Yeah, uh, but before we do that, do you get ladies have anything to say to that? I mean, do you agree, disagree? I'm just being honest, man. I know it sounds very direct and shit. brash, but. It, I mean, that was real as fuck. Like, I received Yeah, that. I think I agree. I've been in this situation. Part. Like, I've been around, like, real high value, real fucking crazy rappers and their labels and shit and producers. And they're expecting all the girls that are invited there to just want to fuck. So they looked at me crazy when I was like, nah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then but you then get the kicked the out of the girl, studio? Do you get huh? kicked out? No, I didn't get kicked out, thankfully. Cause oh, you I, probably I, suck some dick. No, no, because I got no. real, real good fucking connects and the mm, real good connects anyway. Um, she fucking somebody. All right. Fair. Yeah. Somebody in there. Somebody no, getting no, fucked. No, no. Right. Mm, let's just say the casting director of that event 
um, is the okay, homie. Okay, so somebody's getting fucked and pushed <laughs> my the bike. Homie. Bro, no, like... no, no, but he he saved my fucking ass. Cause the other girls were like, okay, so what's the problem? Yeah, they trying to fuck. Like you're lucky. I'm just like, that's what y'all here for. And they're like, yeah, everybody don't like fans, and everybody don't want fans around them. And I think people right. don't understand that either. Yeah, and no, like, I, yeah. And then they'll look at you, and they'll know. They'll look at you and be like, yeah, there was their fans, and they'll say that shit to some bitches that they don't really mm. want around because they're not worth having around no. unless they're fucking. It was until they know who the fuck you are, and then they they're not gonna treat you like. I'll that. keep it a thousand. Mm-hmm. They don't want really any chicks around unless they're fucking, bro. Okay, it's like, yeah, yeah, that's for real. Been there. For real. Right. They were looking at me yeah. crazy like, what, you didn't come to I fuck? I know you've been there. there. <laughs> I know you've been there. All right. Like, Logic. yo, like, it, and it's not to say that, like, I don't want to sound like an asshole or anything, but it's like, I don't know what it is where women, like, really think, like, I'm because special. They want to hang out with me for me. Some people his wife for 57 special. years that's... and a dad who adores his wife. Like, I see kings. I've, I've mm-hmm. been around those men who... Love their woman. Okay. You know? So you're talking mm-hmm. about traditional men. Yes, I'm very old school. I'm open minded for other people. You can do what you want, but for me, I'm very old school. You're old school. Yes. You consider yourself traditional. Yes. Are you a virgin? Nope. All right. <laughs> okay, he's man extreme. Like, 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 you know I'm, I'm not extreme. Like, I'm not, extreme. I'm, like, like y'all want to say, I'm oh, tradi- I want a traditional man, all this other stuff. You want a traditional man, but you ain't no traditional woman. So I why mean, should not, he be a traditional man? We're not back in 500 BC. BC. No, okay, like, and I'm not in 500 BC. Are you trying to change, fuck or not? <laughs> like, yo, like. It's not always. I mean, they generalize stuff. So I always have to remind myself that you guys generalize things. Yeah. But there is, there people are not just like you say. And don't be spewing stuff out there. Like, there's a lot of people in the industry I respect, and there's a lot of there are a couple little weirdos too that will get mad if you're not going but other than that it does make them chase harder because that's guys that's guys i can say that so some you, guys do like to chase so hold on, hold on. Yeah. you can say that they don't want to smash you because of who you are but, not saying but, they don't but they if wouldn't given want a chance to, they, will, they will definitely that's, do it. yeah that's just yeah. a fact that is true guys so, are like that but however they're not just see. they're not just I feel like that's kind of disrespectful to them to even assume that they're all treating women like that a lot of men are big be- are better <laughs> yo Yo, you you do know that there's still men at the end of the day, right? Rapper, athlete, there's still no, men. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And most so that's you know what I said, want, they right? do it. They can look at a group of women and be like, yeah, there's no reason for y'all, this group of women, to be here unless they're going. And then they can look at another group and, or just, I don't know how to, I don't really know how to explain it to you guys, but they just, if, they, if you're the females that that's happening to, then there's a reason for that. Either you're portraying something or you're looking a certain type of way or however you're coming off that they, you have no value to be there unless you're, that's, that's it. Does that make sense to you? Yes. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not going to today. No, it doesn't because dudes, yeah. because yeah. dudes, yeah. Because yeah. dudes only deal with women for sexual access, bro. Like, that's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Like, whether they admit it up front or they admit it five years down the fucking road. Yep. They always deal with you for some kind of sexual access. I don't know if you guys know this. Do you, do you have a lot of female friends? No. Do you? I've got a handful. A few? Yeah. Okay. Did you have, like, different groups of friends growing up and stuff? Yeah. All right. What about you? Mm. Small yeah, circle? not so much now that I'm an adult. No, not so mm. much. small circle. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> I interact with a lot of people. Yeah, no, female friends. Friends, her. Yeah. You, you, okay, one. I have a small circle. Okay. One. You guys literally just proved to me my point right now. Being around women is extremely difficult. You guys yes. are emotional creatures, Thanks. erratic. Yeah. And you guys are not logically sound. That's I agree. True. I'm married okay. to one and that shit crazy. Okay. <laughs> so how the <laughs> fuck do you expect someone of the opposite gender to sit there and tolerate you for nothing more than the fact that you're a woman? No, they're doing it because they want to get sex. Okay. Yeah, I, I know it sounds awful for me to say that, but the only reason y'all can't even tolerate each other, you expect us to tolerate you? Fuck out of here. We're trying to get our dick sucked. And I know you don't want to hear that, <laughs> but that is the truth, man. That is the only reason men sit there and deal with women y'all can't even deal with each other bro that's the cold hard facts they might not do it up front they might wait five years they might sit in the friend zone for a fucking decade but it's always gonna come hey i liked you i've always wanted to take you out and then you're like nope and then what happens (laughs) that nigga leaves because he finally shot his shot took him a million years but he He always wanted to fuck man so ladies knowing this use it to your advantage that's what i said sit there Friends on them as long as you can. Do what you've been doing already, but do not sit there in your hubris and think, and lie he wants to, to hang out with me for me. 
No, he doesn't. Nope. You don't even want to hang out with you for you. And uh, that's just the way it is. That's a cold art truth. Somebody clip yep. that shit and send it out to every other girl out here that thinks she's special, bro. You had a point. Luis hit. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. I mean, if you were 300 pounds, acne on your back, he wouldn't even talk to you. He's not like your friend. He's there because he finds you attractive. Yeah. So, oh, you watch The Notebook? Oh, I love the movie. That's my favorite movie. Like, oh, that's we should watch it together. Oh, like, I love that movie. All right, we got, we got uh, one more video to, video to react to, but and, oh, real uh, quick. And um, here's some uh, data by uh, Rollo. It's uh, one line. Okay, uh, the idea of open relationships is likely to be the most attractive to those who see themselves as having higher quality relationship options. Yeah, okay. and then this whole like thing text here. Yep. But um, we got some super chats here that are oh, I been waiting for a sec. Okay, uh, twenty bucks. Cool Baraka, cool Bar Barka. Yo, Lewis, why did you cap on the grills I was gonna make from you for from you? All good. Let me know when you want another set. Same with you, fresh. I already know Myron good off that. What? I don't want grills, bro. Grills? Some I actually have some. some, some send me some dudes send me grills and stuff. I I got some pre shit. I got, actually got oh. some grills. Vampire ones <laughs> oh, too. Okay. I, I, grills. Grills. I don't know who that is. Though. I saw grills. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll pass on that, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, he knew, he already knew I'm not gonna do that. All right. T cat there's a cat cheater. Boys. There's a big difference between desire and intent. Yep. All yep. strike. Hmm. Two inches is enough. Homie watched his girl get put in several poses on camera. I'd be heated on God. Yep, fair enough. <laughs> Five hours, NL coach. Oh yeah. no, sorry, twenty bucks. To the pseudo nurse who's high on her own BS. As a medical <laughs> provider, you don't know what you're talking about when it comes to couple happiness and longevity. Keep your wrong opinions to yourself without having proper research. Do you have something to say back oh, to that? Oh, my goodness. He's a doctor to present you. Yeah, so. okay. My thing is um, lived experience. So this has nothing to do with, first of all, the research is there. Second of all, like people's lived experience is valuable. So I'm speaking not based on what the fuck I want y'all to think or what y'all believe or what's Googleable. I'm talking about my lived experience. So you, I mean, you can't motherfucking fact check that. Like, that's just period. Point <laughs> like, it is what it is. All right. Twenty five dollars. Uh, message deleted. Probably made fun of Chris's hairline. Uh, Nobunaga twenty dollars. Looking at the definition of marriage of someone saying they are poly polyamorous is a complete contradiction. Just say you have a contract with the government. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. I see where you're going. Don Hancock. Real talk. The witch is giving Myron the lioness eyes. LMAO. Please rank Myron a zero to ten. You want to know what you, you want to go ahead? You can rank you're, me a zero. I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a, a strong uh, eight point five. Oh, thank cool. you. That's I appreciate bad. that. That's not that bad. That's like a, a B. That's a B. It's which a B means plus. I'm it's B a B plus. plus. B plus. B plus. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. B plus is 8.6. Oh, okay. All right. At least okay. that's how we, I don't know. Did they change the grading system? I don't know. Shit, how I mean, do you do it? <laughs> no, he's that's right. Pretty good. He's right. 86, 87 is a B plus. Okay, you're right, you're right. I'll that's give you a strong 8.6. All right. I'll, I'll give you some that. I appreciate that. Really Thank you. You're welcome. Even though I thought I would have triggered you or something like that. but Steve. Takes more than that, baby. She got some strong skin. All right, question for Luis. No cap. Is your show scripted? Sounds sus on some episodes. Keep it 1,000. Ah, uh, no, this shit Where's the script? This, right. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't scripted. This shit's real, dude. It's all, it's all on the spot. So. <laughs> there you go. All right, 25 bucks. Yami yeah, Marie. These mindless poly prawns will make excellent servants to do my bidding. Ha, 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 ha. Okay. Linden. <laughs> Linden YRB. Myron, you should ask the 35-year-old next to you to use her magic to restore your hair follicles. <laughs> what the fuck? You should ask her. <laughs> I should, bro. I actually should. Oh, oils? I can recommend. I need Yo. something. Zetia, I got some minutes for that shit. Uh, women, don't just, uh, want, women don't just want to have fun. They want not only emotional connection, but also security. Evidenced by the fact that women have dating profiles that say, I'm ready to settle down. Where have the good man gone? Okay, fair yeah. enough. Oh, okay. Mr. Onizuka, yeah. I used to pretend to care about the things she is into, but then forgot everything about her after I smashed her. What the fuck, bro? I've heard oh. about that. Wow. What did I say? That post nut clarity or yeah. something? Yeah. Yeah, see this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and as a matter of fact... I have heard the term. I try to tell guys all the time. We, we had a conversation about this with our boy uh, Mo uh, when I was out there in LA, and I basically said that women operate on post nut clarity 99% of the time. Like, men only operate in it for that first few seconds after they're done busting a nut yeah that's why women are yeah yeah think about it like y'all think really hard before you fuck with a guy like you guys are on on post nut clarity 24 7 almost <laughs> so it's like all right i and guys i need you guys to think about it for a second right take that five seconds that you get that post nut clarity extrapolate that into your life would you be making the stupid decisions that you make with women if you had that clarity, nope. you probably wouldn't. Nope. No. Every fat bitch at the bar, you'd be like, nope. Every crazy ass chick that hits you up that you know is a fucking hooker, nope. Every time some chick was like, oh, take me to Salt Bay's restaurant, and you're like, damn, if I pay for this, I could probably get box. Nope. You would not. You would make a lot less bad sexual decisions if you had that post nut clarity all the time. That's what women have 24 Yo. fucking seven. Yeah. And think about it. When a girl fucks with you, sex is the last thing on her mind. She looks for other utility. 
Is he taller than me? Does he make money? Can he provide for me? Whatever. That's why I always say women are resource extractors. They go into it like, what can you do for me? And yeah. I need guys to kind of do the same shit when they deal with women. Yo, what can you fucking do for me? And when you do that to a woman, it's refreshing because let's be honest. When was the last time a guy put you in a position where was like, hey, I need you to fucking qualify to me? Probably never. Mm -hmm. You know My what I'm saying? My big brother is always saying that shit. Mm -hmm. I wish like, a nigga why would. why women always think that you're <laughs> so like, high quality? What do you have to offer? Yeah. What do you and have it, other than vagina? You need me. And then also, y'all be using your vibrators all the time. So when y'all bust a nut, it's like, okay. What's out there? Eh, hey, you know what? My vibrator's better. I'll stay over here. Yeah. You, so, you think about yeah. longer. Yeah, you guys are that <laughs> bad at sex. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, oh, I, I don't wow. know about other niggas. Wow. I don't know about other niggas, babe. Wow. Wow. It's what it is. Well, and that's fine. I've always said it. Again, you guys could get mad. I already know I'm going to get hit with the... How dare you? But uh, <laughs> sex is a woman's duty. It ain't a man's duty, bro. Real talk. Ah. Like, like what, the, it's a, mm. sex, it is Meet me your outside. job. What's the goal? It Meet is me your outside. job. What's the goal? <laughs> What's it is your here? job to please your man, not the other way around, because men have to bring farm or utility outside of sex. If that's the case, then that's what I bring to the table. What? Just sex? Yep. Okay. All right. Well, Niggas, then. go to her DMs. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. I'm just saying, if that's what our duty, that's what we're secure for. No, no, then... no. But that, that is like, that is your main agency. Everything else comes after that. Like, if you can't, for example, if a guy can't make you come, yeah, that kind of sucks. But if you can't make a guy come, it's oh, no. it's real bad. It's, it's a problem. not that hard. You're useless. You know what I'm saying? As a woman, if you can't make your guy You guys are easy. Yeah, of course. It, which is why if a girl can't do it, she fucking useless. That's <laughs> <laughs> my facts, point. Facts, facts, facts. That's oh, my man. point, bro. Right? Facts. I know all the feminists probably get triggered right now, but Ooh. hey, man. I'm Angry saying chat. what all the guys say in the locker room, like to the women to their face, bro. It is what it is. I'm being honest, okay? Uh, okay. All right. We got uh, Miranda to... I don't like the what way the? you said that. <laughs> why? Uh, who, who is that? Yo. Yeah. Oh, that's a big account. That that that's not you. That's not me. That sure looks Wait, like her. So you you don't feel you don't feel the same Lights. way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. I want you to come home to the couch. Honey bunches can't wait till you get home, Prince of Barbados. She's actually here. That's how you know it's not. Oh, yeah. yeah, she's actually here yeah. right now, guys. Are you trying to comments? Nice try, chat. Get Miranda pizza. Oh shit, she here. Oh. Anything you want to say? Affirmative action. We don't got a white girl on the panel, so um, you want to say something? you're trolling me, that's actually really funny, and I give you props for that, so <laughs> <laughs> keep going. There you go. All right. Uh, okay, read that one. Anything else, Chris? Yeah, we do. Okay, and then uh, YC500, last super chat was missing the first two words. Sorry, Fresh. What I meant to say was a man needs a platonic female friend like a fish needs a bike. That's true. <laughs> God uh, damn. Seto Kaiba, I don't play games except for dual monsters, so just let me hit. <laughs> 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 Uh, there are men who genuinely enjoy just your company, but you wouldn't want them to touch you. Oh, oh shit, that's so true. He's talking about like the fat losers, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, Dudes you don't want to be around. Oh, yeah. And then uh, $20, Nolan Friend Baptiste. Zone. Myron, what's the point of being in a relationship if women behave like this? Hey, bro, here's the thing, guys. You guys got to remember, you're, a woman is a mirror reflection of you. And what I mean by that is, if your woman's acting out of pocket, crazy disrespectful to you, acting like a fucking raging bitch, mm -hmm. honestly, it's your fault. Because as the man, you're the leader, and she's only going to do what she can get away with. Yep. So if you tolerate bad behavior from your girl, well, guess what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Bad behavior. But if you put your foot down and let her know, obviously not foot down like by slapping her and shit, but letting her know, listen, bitch, you're replaceable at any time, and I can go get another girl. She's going to act right. Because the, the thing is this, guys. If you keep your value high, you get in the gym, make money, become successful, what's going to happen is you're going to start to level up, and you're going to become a commodity. As you become a commodity... The higher value you go, beauty is common, high value men or not. So that's number one. Get your status high, yeah. right? Once you get that, then she's going to know, okay, this guy's a prize. And then you need to reinforce the fact that you're a prize by constantly letting her know that she's replaceable. Yeah. Listen to the song, guys, Future. Bitch, don't get too comfortable. I need y'all niggas to like memorize that song and burn it into your brain. Women behave the best and operate the best and treat you like a king when they know that you can replace her ass with a concubine at any fucking time time and i don't mean paying for sex i mean as in other girls want to fuck with you man that's 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 the real dark triad shit guys if you want to know how the girl's not going to cheat on you i know Lu uh, luis gave a great tip earlier and fresh you do it by keeping your value high and 
always keeping her uncomfortable. As soon as a girl gets comfortable, bro, that's when the disrespect gonna come. Yeah, having the power to walk away from a girl, bro, even if you don't have to say it to her face, or just she knows, hey, you know what? You could leave at any point in time for another girl. She's like, yo, I don't want to lose this this, this nigga. He's he's a viable option for me. And two, he could leave at any point. Nah, I'm gonna try to keep this going as long as possible. She could feel it. When she's out in public with you and other girls are looking and and I'd love to take her spot and stuff like that. I'd love to take her spot. They can feel that. Like, bitch, get away. Yeah, they can feel it, bro. And and, yo, real talk, I know it sounds fucked up and the ladies at the table don't want to hear this. But they want to know that you can replace her at any time and that she feels... I always say girls want to feel special, right? Mm -hmm. You guys want to know how to make a girl feel special? You're picking her when all the other bitches want you. Bam! That's how you make her feel special. Not by giving Mm -hmm. her stupid gifts or taking her to a restaurant and paying $1,000 for a steak and all this other dumb shit. No, you do it by simply being around her and picking her over all the other girls that want you. Because now she knows it's genuine. Guess what? You don't have to fabricate it. It's... Reality. She can see it. She can see it with her own two fucking eyes. You don't gotta give her no Louis bag, none of this dumb shit. I still she want knows the that you're picking her. Day. She knows that you're picking her over the other girls, and it's constantly being she's getting that constant reminder, this dude can leave me at any time and he's not. That's gonna be her feeling Yo, special. Real quick, ladies, would you prefer a Chanel bag, a Louis bag, or a guy choosing you over all the other girls? Um, I would choose my man being with me. Okay. What about you? Why can't I have both? Why can't he <laughs> give me gifts and choose me over other girls? Okay, just for the example, but you prefer one or the other. God you damn, can have both, but question. just for the example. Louis or Chanel? I mean, I I took a love language test. I don't know if you guys know about that. And like yeah, my love lo- language five, is five our gifts. So like personally, I would want the gifts. Over the guy. Really? Nigga? Over the guy? No, but I'm saying like if he really liked me, like you said, then I figured like if he cared, like he would get me the gifts because no, no, he knows but that's remember, what I like. He's choosing you to make you know they're like, special versus buying you a gift. Like, how can he make me feel feel special? Yeah. You could either get the the gift, the loyalty, or, or the gift. Exactly. What do you prefer, <laughs> the loyalty or, or the uh, gift? Oh, okay. I want him to be loyal. Man, you just changed. Yeah, your bro, bro, this is a terrible question. They're gonna, they're gonna. Yeah, that's like, a bad question. No, because you, you don't, I don't even. Not no, but she got it though. They're always gonna pick. Yo, if the guy's high value enough, they're always gonna pick the guy. You don't gotta give her shit. You can give yeah. her a fucking origami paper uh, mm. swan. Okay, she like, oh my facts. god, you made this. Is yeah, awesome. just the fact that you brought it's me effort, something. It's effort. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, it's effort. Yeah, it's just like it, giving a compliment, bro. Like even yes. giving her a compliment, like yo, mm-hmm. you look nice today for once. Oh my god, thank you. Right. Okay. You know? Or if I'm wearing a different lashes, you're like, oh, did you switch something up? Like, like I care. Okay. If it's from a certain guy. I agree with y'all 100%. If I want him. Being a high value guy. (laughs) Like, especially right now, and I tell men this all the time. I get a lot of of men that's in my DMs that want to explore the polyamorous lifestyle. And I try to tell men, like, yo, the fucking ball is in your court. At the end of the day, like, society is lopsided. There's more women than there are men. You know what I mean? So, for real, for real, niggas, if y'all decide, if any man at this moment decided, like, yo, I want three bitches right now, y'all really could do that if y'all wanted to because if there's you're broke. I mean, but <laughs> however, how if you not true, I'm yeah. mad at that. I'm, I'm not mad at that. You have to be how high value. You must be. You got to bring some shit to the table. Like yeah, we had a guy on no uh, Mike Rashid. He had two lovely ladies with him here at the table. He's high value, successful, multimillionaire. But the woman said, you know what? He's worth me sharing him. Yes, and they understand. You know what? At this point in time. There's people out there, but not on his level. So yes. I want him. I- I'll laugh. I'm not even going to say it's I worth. They don't have a fucking choice. And that's what I want you guys Facts. to get to that point. <laughs> like, like you need to get to a point where, I, man, I say it, whatever. People are going to get mad. Don't negotiate with terrorists. You don't negotiate with women either. There's no fucking negotiation. This is how it is. This is how I am. I tell girls straight up that I deal with. I'm going to have sex with other girls. I'm going to see other Flat girls. Out. Take it or fucking leave it. Flat and out. when you tell them like that, well, yeah, you're going to lose girls. I ain't going to lie to you guys. I tell you guys on the podcast all the time. I'm, I'm direct and I've lost a lot of girls for it. But I don't care because it's like if your your value's high, girls are going to respect quality. that because it's it's refreshing. Mm-hmm. Most guys, no, baby, it's only totally you and all this other sucker shit. Yep. Yeah. But if you let them know, hey, man, you're going to have to share me. It is what it is. Facts. It's new Somebody's I mean, going to be with it. How then... high value are you if you're just sleeping with like a whole bunch of women all the time? Really high value. Shit, yeah. high yeah. value as fuck if you got yeah. that opportunity. What? But most guys can't do that. Right. They can. I guess if you put it so, that way. So Louise, I want to turn this to you. Do you have any questions for ladies at all that you want to ask on, on the panel? Um, Anything you want to know? Questions that come to mind right now? No. Okay. What's coming to mind? I, I want to... <laughs> I love this segment. 
I want to see if the girls can get laid. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, um, but before I do, j just to finish. Oh, we, got, um, we got one more. Oh, Zentians. As a nurse, my experience is sufficient to generalize for everyone while I disregard actual research evidence. <laughs> this nigga, bro. <laughs> Couple that with the fact that you have enough DNA in your nasty V, your lived experience has as much worth as Batty's dress. Oh, shit. You guys, so you want to back to him? <laughs> Yo, that was good. You pay a whole fifty dollars to to try and insult me. Good for you. I received that. You're a savage. <laughs> that's the answer, bro. This is like, <laughs> you're a savage. He's my brother. favorite. Uh, so I love uh, his comments. So I and this is my for the guys out there. This favorite. isn't to disparage any of the women him. at the table. Like guys, guys out there, women will share you if you're the best that they can get. Bro. That's true. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Like. Don't sit here and like let girls try to like tell you terms like no you gotta be faithful to me and all this other like fuck shit man like that's like Western world bullshit since the beginning of time women have shared the highest status men and they're actually happy to do it and as a matter of fact personally I think women are are hardwired to be able to share some you. some of us want that shit like some of us prefer it like nigga if I don't want to suck your dick I want you to have somebody on the side where you can go and get some head tonight like real talk like I'm not I mean, mad about it I'm not gonna lie to you that's funny because like sometimes right no 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 real talk you be with one, one woman right and she's tired she don't want to fuck it's like yo yeah, what, but, what do you but do we got another girl shit but if you got another girl it's fine because you could go with that other girl right you know what I'm saying and as long as like the only the only thing I require is fucking honesty say that shit like yo you tired tonight I'm gonna go hit up my fucking Shantae and go get my my dick suck and I'm a motherfucking wish you well. I'm gonna tell see, you to take a video and send me that shit because cool I think with it's it, sexy. But a lot of girls are not cool with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Real talk is like it's you really, percent, you yeah. really, it is a smart percent but when you, when you're honest when you move yeah, with integrity yeah, yeah. you get more people mm -hmm. that's willing i've literally mm -hmm. never had a man or a woman tell me no i'm not fucking with that shit because i move with integrity i'm not for whoever the fuck said what they said about you know what i mean my vagina having come in it like i move with integrity you I know mean, what i'm saying like i'm i'm moving a, a different kind of way you know what i'm saying and so that's why i can move the way that i can because i'm honest about that shit i'm uh, not even gonna lie like if you go. have to be really like taking care of me for me to be like go get your dick suck and send me a video. <laughs> no, like I'm not video. gonna lie. Like if I like you for <laughs> real, for real, you just I'm sorry. Like no, I, that's I don't not know. happening. It's not happening. Well, I'll tell you guys this. Here's the unfortunate reality. You're never gonna be able to satisfy a guy yourself sexually. Period. You'll never be able to do it. I ain't even gonna try. Like I'm calling. Why? Because they're just looking at other girls all day. What was that? I'm sorry. Because they're just looking at other girls all day. They're like, I wonder. Men like variety. I wonder what she's like. Yeah. What she's like. Men, I wonder what you she's have a favorite like. food, right? Yeah. I guess. Okay, but you but you like to try other restaurants, right? I do. That's how men look at sex. Like you're never gonna be able to satisfy a man sexually by yourself. Period. Like look at any man that has the resources and ability to do it. You look at their VIP in the table at the club. They got girls of different sh color, shape, sizes. Look at any music video. Different color, shape, sizes. Look at Hugh Hefner. All the Playboy bunnies. Different color, shape, sizes. Men that have means that have options always enact on the options to get different girls of different colors. Yeah, you might have your main chick, but you're gonna want to try something different. So that's how men operate. So like for a woman to think, oh well. I can satisfy him myself, myself sexually, or even worse yet, to think I got a man that makes a lot of money, he's successful, he's good looking, he's gonna be faithful to me. All I gotta say to that is stupid. That ain't gonna happen. <laughs> he's gonna fuck other girls whether you like it or not. So you might as well get on the train, you might as well like accept that the train, shit. I'm never. and be next to him. Or you can get a guy that you can have to yourself. But he's not gonna be the guy that you truly want. Share that dick, Bam. sis. That's what I say. You can he have a loser to yourself. Bro. You can have a loser to yourself, so or you can have a high value man to share him. What's the fascination with like a new bitch? Like they all get pussies, all get wet and warm. Like it's. I what's mean, the, new food, so new different? bitch. It's same kind of, thing. I, it's I, I don't food. get it. It's, it's like, the novelty. I, but you if I'm with same. somebody and he's my dude, like he's my king. Okay, like, but mine. different girls, not, different body like, sizes, different like, swings in the hip. It's different kind of hardwired. Titties, it's kind of hardwired into our brains too to want to. Because think about it. If there was. Ten girls and one guy living on this island. Ten girls living and one guy living on this island. This guy only. This guy only has sex with one girl and only replicates with one offspring. The chances of another cycle of life compared to the guy that has sex with all ten, much higher. So it's just like hardwired to want to be with more more than just Biology. one girl. You know what I mean? Biology. See, see, Facts. like a line. No, no, let's talk because as, no, as, if you as, speak on like as a woman though, you can't imagine being another guy if you love your guy. We're animals. But though. Us is like, we could do it all day. I can do that shit all day too. Just saying. And yeah. you know, after, uh, even what he said about the, not all day, uh, not for long though. I got shit to do. Even what he said about yeah. the whole coming thing, right? Crazy, bro. Like, it, it's true because in order for a girl to get pregnant, the girl doesn't have to come. So there's not that biology is like he needs to come in order for that to happen, exactly. right? And that's why, like, and it's true. a woman's orgasm is useless. <laughs> Yikes! Stop saying that. This is the yeah. same. Oh my god, he said 
something it's earlier a, like this. Marvin, it's not a, what you're saying. Marvin, you're saying it. Yo. I agree with you, but okay. Yo, I, there's literally guys that just don't know how to fuck, yo, and they think yo, like don't get, care. Like, yo, yo, the yo. nut off is that's but, the end but, of hold sex. On. No, I can, please, I can hold you. please, guys. I let Nick and Michael come. Uh, I, I'm gonna hold you on that. But that being said, it's necessary. But is it, yeah, it's not yo, necessary, it's, bro. That's, uh, yeah. that's why a lot of societies they cut women's clitoris off. So then, why am I having useless. sex with you? I can go get my own money. I can go get my own cars. I can go get everything for my own Facts. self. Just I give can't me even get me an organ. Wait, wait, girls can come. Bro, oh my God. Yeah, I heard it was a right, let's, let's take it. Let's like take it. Video, let's take it back. Guys. Luis, I wanted to finish your point before, I, before, because I said, why do I need that? If, if uh, and I'm gonna answer her question here in a second, but I wanted you to finish your point. Uh, why Go do you ahead. need that? No, you were talking about the island thing. Yeah, it's just it's just hardwired. It's hardwired. Why do you guys want more than one girl? It's like for survival reasons. It's like just hardwired naturally in our DNA that that's what we want. I'm not saying a guy can't uh, act off of that, but like you said, most guys that have worked really Humans hard to acquire their value, mm -hmm. they're going to want to explore that option. You know what I mean? And girls yeah. are, most girls are okay with it. Yeah. They are okay Whether with they it. admit it or not, sometimes they'll just turn the other cheek and know, but they yep. never heard it, but they know. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know, Real and they're kind of like, eh. Hold on, so I, I'd still rather share an alpha male than be stuck with a beta male loser. Mm. Mm. So are we going to do that decisions. segment? I yeah, can turn we'll do it in a second. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, going back. So you were saying something like, well, why do I need that if I go get my own money, no, whatever? Uh, okay, go ahead. I, I you said that, that the female orgasm is useless. It is useless. Yeah. You go, Luis, go ahead and answer it. Why? All right, she so why wouldn't you? All right, so check this out. So in an ideal world, a girl would be able to live in a very feminine state, right? Mm -hmm. And she'd have a, an alpha male, a leader. Even if he's not a complete go-getter, he still makes things happen. And because he lives in his masculine energy, he allows her to exist in a feminine energy, which is fun, giggle, laugh, have, you know, joke around with her friends, be feminine, be sexual, kinky, do all that crazy shit. But the truth is, most men are mediocre or worse. So what happens in society right now is a lot of girls are having to pick up for that slack because most men aren't being men. So they're tapping into masculine energies, which so I'll just go make my own money. I'll go do sales. I'll do this and argue and negotiate with men and get into all this shit that is just stressful that kills the sexual energy. This is why when he talks about guys liking feminine, a guy would rather have a 21 year old girl who's slightly dumb than like this super educated, most for the most part, super educated, really emasculated woman. Facts. You know I, what I mean? I understand that yeah. part, but if so, you're not going to give me a nut, I don't care how rich you are. At this point, I'll just pay my own bills. Just give me the nut. <laughs> like, Damn, but bro. But really, please do not. Like, I'm just saying, guys, I know like sex is on the women. I, I agree with Fresh to, Myron to a certain extent, but like, please go into there, go into the sex and give these women a nut, please. I mean, yeah, they should, they please. should. But I'm telling guys, like, you're not no, under any obligation to do so. There, they uh, should. But. There's a lot of guys out there that literally have some weak ass dick, bro. <laughs> like, it's not. I ain't gonna hold on, bro. If you want to keep, cool. keep your girls to, to you, bro, you got to make her nut. You got to. You do. Or even when you're like gently trying to not coach true. them, they still don't even listen. Like, you're like, come on, or, like this way. Like, they girls like, aren't no, gonna like this. No. Like, you just you just get a fucking virgin, bro. She'll know better. Bang. There you go. <laughs> virgin. Yeah. Virgin women or young women, especially high school girls. I'm telling you, like that man is getting that nut off of you. You're a cum bucket. That's literally what you are. You're not yeah. getting anything out of the sex. I agree but with she gets you. Her, no, 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 no. She, gets, she gets a relationship. Yeah, she yeah. gets a marriage. She yeah. gets security. security. If she again, so we're going back to that she example. She get more than you get. If yeah. she gets an Facts. ideal alpha male dude, she's she a millionaire. Yeah, yeah she, she's good. Yeah. It's very rare for you to find a millionaire. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm so I sorry, guys. It's very, it's very rare for you to Listen. get a millionaire. No. So my young girls, one. you're messing with literally regular guys. You're messing with regular guys that's working nine to five. That's Damn. probably barely making fourteen dollars an hour. Get your nuts, sis. I used to <laughs> think I was gonna wait <laughs> until marriage, and when I tell you, I'm so fucking glad that. Life happened differently because I really, really thought I was one of those girls. I thought I was gonna wait till marriage. Nah, I never thought right? that. But no, I was. I was like no tattoos. Like I was really just like I was like that. And I would have never liked sex. I would have fucking settled and and would have thought. I thought it was. I'm like, what? Like, is it just me? Like, Yo. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, so roll I'm, roll you roll gotta find yourself. You got uh, women what, have to find themselves. What did you say, Chris? He said, um, yeah, that shit would have uh, been. Bring it up. Oh, here we go. Uh, 
Yep, it's right there. Uh, shout out to Roll Tomasi. Shout out to Roll Tomasi. Right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was going to uh, say this, but I didn't want to be the and one. I wonder why the girls walk around with attitudes the, uh, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so he says, Because sis needs a buzz. Women's <laughs> orgasm prompts peer bonding and impregnation. It's true. Nigga, if you're going out busting, bro, someone's going to make her bust. Somebody's going to do it. Man. Somebody's going to do it. Better be you. All right. Uh, okay. And I'm so, gonna turn um, it off. okay. So I'll read this point, and then uh, we're gonna play a fun little segment here. All right. Uh, Actually, no, because you know why, Omar? Uh, that segment should be on pause because we only have 3.8 likes. Damn, uh, nigga, uh-uh. man. On YouTube. So oh, no hell excuse. no. Bro. I mean, we got six yeah, yeah, yeah. We got almost seven thousand nah, likers right hey, now. You know so what? If, if, if you guys, guys want us to play the game where we have the girls be a guy for a few days and see how they would get laid. I need you guys to like the fucking video because this segment is actually fucking hilarious. Or we can end the show right now. Yeah. Or we can end the show. Yeah, fuck it. Either we need to get, what, what do we get? What, 5,000 likes? Yep. If yep. we get 5,000 likes, we'll continue the show if and not, we'll do we the segment. End it right now? If not, we'll end it right now. No, I'll just yeah, go get it. some food. It's, it's, it's not Saturday, shit. <laughs> All right, I'll read these super chats while we wait. CC Nicole looks like a camel. Got me laughing so hard. Oh, Ooh. shit. You what guys want to say back to that? I've never been called anything ugly like, in my life. Beautiful. Learn how to fucking Bye. spell camel before you right? call a bitch Say a camel. Shit, it's like, yeah, it's fuck Come on, fuck it's fuck it's real. Real. It's the no she picture for nice. me. You don't I mean, even have come a camel. What she's talking about? She, 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 you're so fucking gorgeous. gorgeous. Uh, yo, There's I need, nothing ugly. I need about 80k more. I've never. That's the first one. I need 80 more subs to get to 50k. 80 more subs. That's it. Okay. So. And you know, if I have anything back to say besides I've never been called a camel before? Oh, uh, no. Nah, just God bless weak. you, baby. I hope you get a bad bitch or dude Fuck or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I the video, man. Fuck your life. 1980s. Young men, listen to Myron and Fresh and step your game up. Otherwise, this is what you'll have to deal with. I know at my age and status, overseas is the best way to go. No patience for this mess. Myron and Fresh, help them. We got you, man. Columbia. Hey, <laughs> Terzo. These ladies wanting a high value man, but give it up to ho- uh, hobosexuals. How dare you tell men to level up when you go and give it up to Pookie and Kyle? Mm. This guy, bro. It's morning star. Women are definitely made to share. Why do you think their periods sync together when they live together? That's Ooh. not true. <laughs> oh, God. And then Zentius, $50. Integrity is only worth something if you have conviction. You lack both seeing as you look, took marriage vows, which are just lip service, since you can't back it up with actions. Speaking of lip service, talk to Jabba. She'll have a bunch, <laughs> she'll have a job for you on the strip. Oh, God. <laughs> you guys want to say back to Zentian? So, yeah, my my marriage looked very different. Keep in mind that I am not Christian, so I do not subscribe to Christian uh, marriage vows. My marriage situation looked very different, so you have no idea what the fuck my wife and I vow to do with each other. So, that's just mm. that. Okay. And we got a new member as well. Yes. Hey, welcome to the team. Uh, is that we Captain have America? Brandon Sullivan. Oh, Brandon Sullivan. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, guys, guys. We need five K likes to get five K likes. If y'all want to see the segment, okay. there's 6,700 of you guys in here, bro. We can end it now, or just uh, you know, give you guys this fire content. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I'll tell you guys this. I think Zinzi and I'm ready to go. Me. You yeah. know, but uh, yeah, you they know, like Fresh always wants to leave early. So <laughs> if y'all don't want Fresh to leave early for once, I need hey, you guys to like the goddamn video right now. Because um, yeah, guys, we it's, got Luis in the it's house Saturday too. night. We're going overtime, guys. For real. The least you can do is like, like the damn video. The least yeah. you can do. Oh, uh, we're at 4.4. Get us a 5,000, and then we will do the uh, If You Were a Man for a Week segment, which is going to be fucking funny. So mm-hmm. I'm going to I'm gonna set it up because I think we're going to hit the 5,000. <laughs> Ladies, what we're going to do, this is the scenario, okay? You're a man for a week, all right? Okay. I need you to get laid, all right? Now, you can go ahead and tell me how you would do it, whether it's a, you know, club, mm. fucking beach, whatever the hell you want to do. Mm-hmm. We're going to give you the scenario, <laughs> and uh, we're going to run from the beginning, how you would talk to her, how you'd open everything, and we want to see how you do it. So just start getting some ideas in your head okay. of a scenario and how you do it, and we'll go from there. But until then, we need the 5K likes, guys. Man, I don't there. see it, man. 4.6. I don't, I don't see it, bro. 4.6. We need another 400 likes, guys. And guys, I know some of y'all are probably getting mad like, yo, what the fuck? Why do y'all need likes so bad? Blah, blah, blah. The reason why, guys, is because on YouTube, uh, it's based on engagement. And engagement is a very important tool to grow in the algorithm. As Luis could probably tell you as well, he has a huge YouTube channel. Two two big, very YouTube channels. And engagement is the name of the game, yep, guys. 100%. You know what I'm saying? You know, a girl made a video about this, about girls. Because the girls are like, oh, it's so easy to just talk to. Just be nice to us. You know, buy us flowers and all this. And so a girl dressed up as like a guy, like legit hired a professional team to make her look like a guy. Uh-huh. It's on YouTube. And she went out to go hit on other girls. Because, you know, I used to be a dating coach, so I used to say this all the time, like, girls have no fucking clue what they're talking about. <laughs> like, you've never hit on girls, so you don't know. So I hit on a lot of girls. Yeah, you're different. <laughs> all right. Yeah, as a woman, though, we're going to see how you I do it as a guy. So as things. a guy, right? I'm thinking, and girls, about it. I'm thinking about it. Girls are fucking ruthless to her. You know, get the fuck away from me. I'm not joking. Get away from me. And then the girl was like, as a guy, she's like, oh, my God. 
complete different perspective because they don't really know the guy's side, like what it's like. You know, what are we supposed to do when you go talk to a girl? Yep. Yeah. And then so, for all the women out there that are bisexual, le lesbian, no offense to you, mm -hmm. they always say, it's not that hard. Well, here's the thing. As a woman, if you date another woman, they're going to let you slide on a lot of things, bro. Go half like, on the they're bill. not going to hold you to the same standards. Yep. But when you're dealing with a guy, all of a sudden women have far less tolerance for financial ineptitude, the inability to make decisions, not being a leader, not being direct. They'll tolerate that shit from a bitch all day. But you, you can't pick what to eat. That's a fucking problem, That's a problem. Bro. Facts. So, Facts. Hold so, on. Yeah. So, uh, okay. We got five k legs right now. We did, and like, Nobunaga just gave us a 100 hour super chat, bro. Thank Shout you so to much. You, bro. <laughs> What's his, uh, what was his uh, super chat? I know you had it on the screen for a second, Chris. Yeah, guys, get us a 5K. See, I see everybody in the chat going crazy right now, like, get it to 5K. Yeah, because I know y'all really enjoy this segment. So these girls are telling girls to not wait for marriage, but they don't realize that these girls on this panel will never be satisfied with anything. These 304 sacrifice happiness for the sake of greed. Thus, we'll end up sad and alone with cats at the end of the day. Oh, God. I love cats. They paid $100 of course you do. to say that. <laughs> yeah. And I, I never said, said don't wait till marriage. I never We're at 4.8, man. 4.8. 200 more likes, guys. 200 more likes. I will say that cum bucket is my favorite category on Pornhub. Just saying. Oh, really? Who? Yeah, corn oh, shit. I mean, who? Who doesn't love? Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Who doesn't love a good cream pie? Right? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, yo, like that's just that's just fire, bro. Cream pies and cum pies. Like, so, <laughs> so a question. Uh, do you count uh, cream pies as your body count? <laughs> do I count cream? No, hell no. If I counted cream pies as my body count, I would be down to like two. Oh shit. Okay. Two nuts inside Many. You? Like two, like two. Like, and really, I'm being generous with that. All right, guys. No, what I, I don't, don't even count know what that is. when I don't get a nut. It's trash and it happens. We got Jay Wynn. Miss Tiger shirt is beautiful, but I'm getting giraffe from Madagascar <laughs> vibes. Tiger, Tiger shirt. Oh, okay. Uh, Cece, they're talking about you. You want to drop them your Instagram? Oh, my Instagram is CC Nicole, C I C I Nicole dot underscore. Send your so. dick pics there, guys. <laughs> Hold on, I guess we Yo, are. Yo, 200 more likes. 4.9K like, guys. 4.9? And I got the zebra. <laughs> We're so It should close. be easy, guys. Like I mean... the video. <sighs> Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they, there's, there's a lot of people that be watching. They're like, yo, fuck Fresh and Fit, bro. I'm watching this shit, but I ain't liking this. Yeah, who does things. that? If spite. you don't like it, it's like the girl in the wedding yeah. dress. Go somewhere, <laughs> go somewhere else, nigga. They're acting like the girl in the wedding dress right now. Facts. <laughs> Facts. No, that, that's trifling. Yeah, once that's, we have 5K, yeah, that was, that's fucked up. Like, so who wants to go that. first? Because it looks like we're going to hit this 5,000, but who wants to go first? Uh, just I so I know. I'm going to go last. <laughs> You're going to go last? Okay. Who wants to go first? You want to go first, Miss? I know I'm going to get a nut no matter what. I'm so curious to hear this. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, are we there, Chris? Nope. 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 Still oh, wait. Okay. Sorry. We're going to just play this annoying Who Wants to Be a Millionaire soundtrack until we hit. And we're here. Oh, damn it. There you go. <laughs> Waiting to do that. Finally. All right. Miss, uh, I need a nut. Uh, go ahead and thank you guys for getting us 5,000 likes, by the way. Okay, so where am I? What's the scenario? Appreciate y'all, man. What is the scenario? Oh, I have to come up with it? Oh, okay. you were going first, right? Or who yeah. just said they want to go first? You. I'll go first. Yeah. Okay, so how get a girl? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I, I, I'm bust down like like fresh. Okay. <laughs> we'll give it whatever to you. you want. Whatever we'll you want. Whatever you want. We'll give it to you. Okay. We'll so you, give it you. Yeah, you can be either one of us three. Yep. Okay. How would you, you do get it? The I got my bust down down. You okay. Know. Cool. My bust AP. down. I'm not talking to anybody. I'm just simply finna have these girls come to me. I'm bust down. How would you do that? I got money. What do you mean? I'm just finna be me. Where are you? Club? Or <laughs> like, Here's the setting. Like, you're in a understand. club, you're in person, you're at a, a you're, you're at the mall. Okay. Where are you? Where are okay, you? like if I'm the... like if I'm in a club, I'm gonna go to the strip club. Cause I know they're gonna be thirsty, right? Okay. The strippers. Okay. So boom, I got a buzz down. I'm gonna go with some money. Okay, where are you gonna where are you gonna go uh in the strip club? Are you gonna get a table? Are you gonna what are you gonna do? I'm gonna get a section. Okay, okay. Gonna which, get... which club? I don't know. Let's go Name to the club. office. God, that's the most hood. Okay. Book. God so, damn. Uh, and sorry. just for the people, no, no, we going all the, the way. Office. I hope you ladies are ready because we are gonna Yo. go all the way here. So for those of know. you that don't know, because like, like hold on one sec, hold on one sec, so I can tell the people because you you know what the office is, but they don't. Mm. Guys, the office is a uh, is a is a club here in Miami strip club. It's it's extremely ratchet. So uh, <laughs> so yeah. It's it's all, you're you're, aiming, low, right you're aiming low right it, there, huh? It's, it's in North Miami, right? Oh, yeah. it's a Nor oh shit, it's a but Norland. That is the place Norland? to catch a girl, though. Oh, Norland. Shit, Norland. I don't even know where that at. But it's, okay, so, I'm not aiming so you in there? They're playing nook if you bucks, right? What I'm are you not doing? aiming low, by the way, the low because I, I I like 
if I'm a guy, I want a big booty black girl. Okay. You know, the other strip clubs down here got all the Spanish girls. You know, kids. like Tootsies okay. and stuff like that. It's like so, me. so you I'm got the wait. section. Dark girls. Okay, so that, what you're probably I'm down like two bands to get the section. You're there now. What? Yeah. So I'm in there. Of course, the strippers gonna come because. I got money. I'm okay. throwing that stuff. They're fat, Somebody's pregnant. gonna give me some pussy. I don't no, even no, have to they're do gonna, it. They're, yeah, they're gonna come to you and they're gonna be like, "Oh, daddy, yeah, uh, you want a uh, lap dance?" And they're gonna try to get you to do a dance and spend nah, money. Nah, bitch, I don't want a lap dance. Mm-hmm. Let me let me talk to your friend. Come over here. Friend. Okay. I'm so they're gonna sit there and talk to you. And then I'm gonna throw money at the friend. Give me okay. my lap dance, whatever the case may be. Okay. I'm and then they take the money and go. Then what? What? They're gonna take the money and go. <laughs> yeah. I'm, not, I'm not gonna throw you all my money. I want. I'm gonna keep dangling a stack over your head because I want you to come home with me. You okay, feel me? I'm that, gonna keep having that. And then she's gonna that. look you dead in the face and be like, "That's two thousand. I'm gonna be like, "What you doing?" That's two thousand. Huh? She's gonna look at you dead in the face and say, "Okay, I'll, I thought I'll come we back booked with you. That's two thousand for two thousand. Well, she I wanna... got stacks. I'm bust out. But hold on. Yeah. Here, here's one rule: you, you can't pay for it. Huh? Mm. You can't pay you, for you the box. You can get labor. You can't pay for it in a scenario. You can't pay for it. Mm. But y'all are always paying for pussy. No, no, no. Not like direct, though. Like, you're doing, like, straight, straight to prostitution. This is what you're doing. Oh, okay, okay. Well, let's get out the club then, because if I'm getting a stripper, I'm going to pay for the pussy. Okay. So, <laughs> so you yeah. try, I don't mind paying yeah, for the bro. pussy if I'm okay. a guy. So if We're I ask women, it. it's straight to paying for sex. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Pigs. Okay. Pigs. <laughs> that's all I can say. You good? Yeah, that's the only way okay. I'll know. Who's next? Who's next? No, I'll go. Who right. wants to? Right, bro, I can. I can right, go. Oh, oh okay. no, 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 no! Who's gonna go? Okay. I'll no, go. no, we gotta let the ladies go. Yeah, it's gonna be, a, and, and we're gonna role play. We might be the girls. So go ahead. So you, where you at? All what, right. What's... So this, this is what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing. Fresh I'm, I'm rolling. <laughs> I'm rolling up at the hospital. Right. Weed? No, 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 no. Like I'm pulling up. I'm pulling up. Okay. Like, you, maybe, maybe I'm rolling up. You never fucking know. But I'm pulling up at the hospital. It's about to be shift change. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Night shift to day shift. All the nurses is getting off on night shift. I know these bitches hungry. By experience. Right? By experience. I know these bitches hungry. I know they feet hurt. So I'm pulling up. It's gonna be a group coming out in they white scrubs and shit. And I'm pulling up like, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, um, what's up? You hungry? You wanna, you wanna. I know you hungry. They, uh, I, know Audie, you Audie, hungry. I know you hungry. Okay, all right, girl. Hungry. And then I'm gonna be the nurse. Um, okay. Well, I'm going with my friends. We're gonna go get something to eat real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Marina. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and then I'm gonna slide my number to her ugly nurse friend because bitches love when you don't pay them attention. Like if you're really cute, you know what I'm saying, and you start talking to the one who's least likely to get the attention. All the rest of the the cute bitches be like, damn, for real. Like I I thought. Okay, so you're gonna give your number to the to, number to, to the, the to the whale, and then the, the other girls, <laughs> and the other girls are gonna be like, okay, this nigga's weird, and then they're gonna leave and go get food. <laughs> they might, they might, but then they definitely are. They don't know you. But okay, so then I'm a, I might be on some stalker shit because niggas like to be on that. Pull up to the spot where they might have some food at, and then I'm just gonna pay the tab, like you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're gonna so they're gonna be sitting there in their scrubs, tired yes. from working a full yep. shift at the yep. diner eating. Yeah, four or five of them. Yeah, and then you're gonna just walk in. And they're gonna be like, and then they're gonna start talking. Oh my god, that's the fucking dude yeah. that gave that's the number that, to That's that, that creepy ass guy. Okay, that gave the number. and then and then what? And then and then you're gonna just like go to the waiter and be like, hey, their table, I'm paying for yep. it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the t- I'm gonna be like, hey, whatever they ordered, that's on me. Okay. And then the then ugly what? one, the ugly mm-hmm. one, she's gonna be interested. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah, she is. She gonna be interested, and then when you gonna hit her up? When am when am I gonna hit the ugly friend up? Yep. I'm the ugly friend gonna hit. Well, actually, me no. Up. Yeah, she's gonna have to hit you up. She's gonna have to hit me up, basically. You know what I'm saying? And then and then I'm gonna take her out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you know what I'm saying? Like y'all bring your girls. So I'll, I'll take you out. I know y'all bitches want some massage. Assuming she even hits you up after assuming. she saw you walk into the diner and pay her bill randomly. Uh, Assuming she hits you up, what are you going to do? How are you going to set up the, the date or how are you going to link with her? What are you going to do? Uh, Let's say she hits you up and says, hi. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, yo, like, I, I've i been going through some, you know, I, I got some back problems and I've been seeing a chiropractor and I know you probably got some, you know, I want to know if you can give me some insights on what it is that I can do. If you got some techniques or some whole, or another practitioner, a massage, a masseuse that you can. Yeah, here's my friend. He's a chiropractor. Here's his number. Right. So then I'm going to just book that shit and then slide it to her like, yo, I booked the extra massage session for you too. Like she going to hit up. It's a chiropractor. It's a chiropractor, but they do. <laughs> They do heal and touch. They, it's a massage so, part of it. And then she's going to say, sorry, I, I worked that day. 
What the and fuck? And I'm gonna be like, yo, Damn. just you know, you you schedule it. You let me know when you want it. And you never hear of it again. <laughs> Bam. This is such a weird <laughs> scenario for Gone. me. I'm just like, what kind of scenario is done? And I was being friendly too, bro. Like, That's like what happened, you already shit. lost when you showed up at the diner to pay their shit. <laughs> and also, the diner, also, the ugly friend. Scrubs. Shoot, text you. Where you at? Oh, I'm at home. I'm gonna come see you. Bring your friends. No, I just wanna come alone. Yeah. She can that, come, she can eat, come eat. Eat. Even if the cute one is interested in you, yeah. the, the big ones be like, no, 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 I talked to him first, you yep. know? So yep. she's like, to protect her friends, like, oh, I can't do that now. Right away. True yeah. that. Probably. Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's a big fuck up to give the number to the ugly the one. Ugly yeah, yeah, girl. that was a weird tactic you got going on. Okay, cool. Keep her, I'm, keep her in the I'm loop. taking notes, nigga. It's like, I'm like, like, yeah, no, like, you, you're 100% right. The yeah. prettier ones are going to say, what the fuck? Because yeah. that's, that's uncommon because every time, because girls know, Okay, I go out with this group of girls. Every time I go out with this group of girls, I get the most attention. These yeah. other bitches can't compete. Mm -hmm. So for once, the ugly one gets the number. They're gonna be like, oh, what the fuck? This is strange. Flip it. So they are gonna feel a type of way, but, bro, they're not gonna go and step on that girl's dream and take the guy. Yeah. yeah. That she, yeah. What, that they already feel bad for that. Yeah. Yeah. They're feel bad for her. If anything, yeah. we're gonna be happy, like, go. Yeah. True Yo, true like, true there's true a right. movie, right? Yeah, right. 1996 or 97, called How to Be a Player. Yeah. I remember that. Yes. That movie? Yes. You need to go watch that movie because you. I love that shit. Actually. That's just okay. fire. So, so, uh, you right. right. I'll take that. So, it. you uh, definitely. <laughs> who wants to go next? <laughs> next? That was the most unique story I've ever heard on <laughs> scenario. Who wants to go next? A anybody else, or? Oh, don't be shaking now. I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't um, know how to hit up a girl because sometimes, like, yeah, I want to be courted. Other times, I want you to be like, especially if you're really fine, like, I want to get to the business. Like, so I don't know. It really depends. So you admit you can't do it? I wouldn't know where to start. I guess try to get her yeah. number or I, I don't know. All right, who's mm -hmm. who wants to go next? I get a girl. Yeah, like I don't she know. said, I don't know what to do because y'all making it seem so hard. So I'm going to just be a joke. Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to just be a joke. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, shit. Yeah. You're going to just be a you. joke? Oh, show you. you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to show you? You. You, you know the show you? Netflix He's like stalking show. that girl. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh I've never seen. Okay, I don't know. All right. Who who else thinks they can get it? Cece, come on. You know, you you can you get a guy? I mean, sorry, get a girl in a week as I, a guy? I feel like I could, March. but that shit's, okay. I know that shit's hard. Give I'm us a scenario. Maybe not. You gonna do? I was feeling her scenario until the strip club part. I think that's where you <laughs> fucked up at. But like the rest of the shit, like. All right, no, no, so no. what would you do, Cece? Some, what would you well, do I see, like when guys really that. end up getting girls, it's because they're just shooting their shot at every fucking thing and something hits. Mm. Like, and that's kind of okay, what so I Okay, so how see. would you do it? They just gotta be on some whole shit. Okay, what would you do? They just gotta like. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't we don't care about they. What would Cece do? Okay, okay, so let me see. Like, okay, South Beach. Okay. I gotta think of how they. Do Good it. scenario. You go okay. to South Beach. South Beach. Okay. okay. Day, the way night. the way that I see guys do it. Day is, night. Um. Day I'm gonna confirm this or not. It, I don't know if it really matters day or night. Yeah, it does. It does. Shit. <laughs> it. it, it I mean, night probably when they drunk. So I think that's probably the best scenario. If I'm okay. really, if you're really like preying on a girl, you okay. Get them in so you're you you're, you're early, early if you're on the where beach. Where you at, South they... Beach? Where are you at, Got ladies, ladies, ladies? <laughs> let, let her answer. So you're on South Beach. Where are you at? Um, where exactly am I? I don't know what those restaurants are called, but Which, I would say well, your best bet is to really like if she's with her homegirls or whatever, offer to just get them all some food. That's the bitches love food. That's why. I okay, said. so what restaurant are you at where you offer to give bitches food? Wherever they want to go. <laughs> That's what you gotta say. Okay, where I want to eat. Them? How'd you meet them? You just literally like, what do they do? Shit. You can't do too much because it's such a, it's so, it's a fine line. It's a fine line. Okay, tell us the fine so, line. How would you do it, CC? Please damn. stop evading the I'm goddamn try, question. No, I'm really trying to think in my head what maybe had got me one day, you know. Oh, no. I mean, I never would have, no, I ain't going home with nobody. That would have been a finesse. I would have ate that food and left. So I don't really yeah. know how to get further than that. I don't know how to get further so than that. So that's a dub. Yeah, that's yeah. a dub. Yeah. Too, bro. Okay. Especially as a so, female, because sometimes I'll ignore you and I really like you. Be about you that just... Because food and South Beach sex forever. Because it's so it's be the hard no, 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 that. That's true. That, like, well, I, I know, I really, and here's the thing, I didn't face palm because that's like, oh, fuck that. That's very true, guys. Yeah. Sometimes. A girl will it. She finds you attractive, but she's with some her fucking bitchy ass friends that might yeah. talk shit. She's not gonna pay you attention because yep. she don't want them girls to talk shit, bro. It, it, it's tough. Anybody else uh, want to give a shot at this, or y'all all gonna give up? <laughs> it's the best way to know how the ladies are done. Nah, okay, Batty. I know you guys want to say what you. How you could do it? You spend yeah. so much time with guys and shit. You should Let's know. See. So, all right. So y'all already know that I don't got no bitch friends. Uh, I don't got no friends that are females. Um, yep. So how would you do it? out with a lot of guys so i got a lot of ticks, trips okay guys. let's hear it buddy. tell us the story let's so, hear it you're a guy what are you doing i'm a guy i'm walking down south beach okay on, sure. we're, on, we're on all south I'm beach i'm aware um 
Ocean Drive Collins. Okay, Ocean Drive guys, just so y'all know, because again, a lot of people are international, whatever. That's the main strip in Miami Beach, like where you guys see all the movies film, Scarface, Ocean Drive. All right, cool. So you're down yeah. there in South Beach. So I'm walking down. I got um, my little confident walk. You know, I'm in a good mood because you got to put on like um, a positive, you know, vibration. Okay. Positive energy, you know, you want to get out. Day there. or night? Um, I would say before the sun goes down. Okay. But like not. Not right before, late. Not still, still because, daylight out. All right, because they go fast. They, the guys out there, they got game. You gotta okay. have game. So you, you see a shot of you like, right? Okay, she's with her friends. I, I hate to, I hate to do this because we, we talk a lot of shit. Girls say that they don't like, you know, the little obnoxious guys, the ones who be all loud and stuff. Fucking liars. Okay, so I've seen it firsthand. I've seen it firsthand. Look, they be like, "Hey, baby." I see you over okay, there. Okay, so well, how would you do it? So tell us, That's like, how I would do it. So I'm like, gonna be do, like, don't get ladies, ladies. Girl, y'all like look. to tell us what other guys do. No, what are you going to do? Okay, <laughs> I'm a man walking down South Beach, yes. looking looking all right. I'm not bust down or nothing. Okay, white t-shirt, some shorts. Okay, good shoes. Okay, you can't have no bullshit shoes out there if you. Facts. All right. You trying to get a good. You got the Dior shoes on. We giving you the Dior. best scenario. Go all ahead. Right. Now what you gonna do? So. I see Shorty walking with her friends and be like, damn, yep. I know I got this gas, but y'all looking like some gas. You know what you mean? You got to give her a compliment. Okay. They and then, they, the and then they say, they're going to keep walking. They're going to say, okay, thank you. Keep walking. What are you going to do? <laughs> what y'all doing tonight? Y'all got any plans? There's some, um, there's an event going on. I could invite you. We're going to live. We're going to live. Um, all right. Shit. There's an event going on in live. Um, they're already I gone down the street. Drinks. They're already gone. No bullshit. Nah. Nah, the fuck they not. They're standing right next to me. Nah, they that, right. they're walking away like stop so, following us. <laughs> nah, the fuck they ain't. Nah, cause I've seen right the shit firsthand. No, I've seen the shit firsthand, and they they really good. It's the way that you stop the show. For you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be. We're gonna reenact this. Let's see how you do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let me put you to the test. So, so you can gonna, do it. I'm going to be walking down this way. Stay right here. So you can do it. Right Let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know if I'm appropriately dressed. Yeah. No, you're fine. You're, you're good. All right. All right so so. Be, I'm smoking, right? Yeah. Smoking, right? <laughs> I got like gas. I got. Yo, South Beach, they're like, yo, I got like gas. gas. Now, mind you. Want you want some gas? Mind you guys, I'm going to be with my with my girls. So I'll pretend that these are my girls right here, right? All right. So I'm walking down the board. You're going to be over there? So I'm going to just be standing looking cool. I'm surrounded by my people that also look okay, cool. Okay, so we're And they're also bagging bitches right next to me. Okay, so I'm walking this way. Or am I walking towards you? Um, Say you're walking past me. So, okay. Okay, so if you're going to walk past me, whatever, you're walking past me. Okay, so I'm going uh, so to go with my friends. We're yep. going to walk past you guys. All right, yep. so th these are my two friends with me, all right? We're walking by. <laughs> it's like, damn, y'all looking real good. Where y'all heading? <laughs> yeah. They're like, ew, you fucking creep. If you look good and you're attracted and you got this this swag on you, they not gonna walk away. That shit, they. they yeah, like, they will. If you don't reel me in on the first if or second line, easy, I'm gone. You want to try again? I promise you, they do, not. Do you, you want to try again? <laughs> we should have said just, walk away, just pull up in a nice car. I think nah. that's the yeah, best. Yeah, oh, nah. nice car again. Not if it's the right person. Not if it's the right guy. Is it like is the best thing to do with you to meet? You've seen it many times on beach. I know many, many, many times. Many, many times. What would you do? And I know we did did this what scenario, I right? Do, what I do is you what I just said. Like, damn, Shadi, y'all looks. I got some gas, but, but y'all look but, like but some see, that gas. That only works, you know. Yeah, yeah. one out of a hundred times. Yeah, that's all it all goes left. Every, 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 every guy's complimented by? her that day. Every guy's complimented yeah. her already. Yeah. So yeah. you already yeah. give away your power Especially by doing that. You've seen his low status yeah. guy. He already wants me. He's already but admitted it. You're offering that you got gas. What's gas? Why do you say weed? Weed, 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 weed bro. Oh, it's weed. weed. But what does she got? Drugs, weed, food, and money. That's how you get a big. So drug him. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Bitches, oh, I know. Bitches, bitches like every every day. Bitches yeah. like whatever drug usually is weed. You know, I mean, you gotta I, offer them something so look, that they so like. Let's and on, on. Right, Batty, Batty, let, let's be yeah. honest. Let's be one thousand. If fifty girls walk by a guy and he says, "I got gas, I got gas," probably like forty-eight of them are gonna walk by, right by him. Like this like, is like I don't give a fuck. Some about random no ass weed. dude offering me weed, mm -hmm. and I'm in Miami Beach, and it's a tourist. Even they don't even know this motherfucker. Nah, like, you might nah, lace it. these guys know what the yeah. fuck they doing because they got the experience. Okay, but, anyway, but, but you. <laughs> 
It's a different story. Me, that's how I do it. <laughs> Look, I'll say this, right? I've done it. Girls come on vacation to Miami. And, and how I They don't know nobody, but they, they want to smoke. Yes. But why would they gonna, why are they going to choose you over all those guys? That's that's the thing I want to figure out. It's the swag. Her. It's just the way that you that you move yourself. Like, hey, baby, you I got, got gas. Comfort, Mm. Okay, that's so that's a dub. Not, not what would you babe, do now? Okay. Not like, don't so girls it, like, walk, walk past like, you. Damn, you look good, babe. Like, where you going? Like, where you and your friend going? Y'all got some plans tonight? You need a drink? I know a spot. Like, you walking with her? Like, she like, oh, you know, like, I'm I'm here in town for a few days. It's like, oh, I can show you all the best spots. Like, I know where you could get a good deal on like two for one drinks. You know, and but how long do you keep following her and talking you before it gets there. creepy? Not like... long. No, no, no. You don't walk that long. They usually yeah, stay. Like, I've seen this shit. I've seen it. See, I'm, I would I'm, be I'm like, get the fuck honest, away from me. In that yeah. moment, you gonna pull them right there and then. Yo, we, we go in this spot right here. Come, come with us. If you yeah. let them walk around, yeah. I think it's been like, yo, come over here. And once they go to that nigga and he'll plan for them right there and then, they're gone. You got to offer them something that catches their attention within the first the few spot. seconds On that the you're yeah. you know what? Yeah. I want, no, no, no. Let's play her game. Let's say they say, cool, I want some of this gas. What you going to do next? <laughs> Let's play this game, okay? Shit, now what so you going to do? do? Okay, boo, how much you want? You want some? Let me roll it up for you, babe. Okay. Now what? Mm -hmm. No, I want to. Wait, wait she gonna be like, no, 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 no. Y'all are fucking done, man. Y'all are fucking done. Stop, stop. Go ahead. Go. You, so, okay, she, you, they, you roll up the joint for them and give it to them. They smoke. Now what you gonna do? Okay, so obviously the conversation started with smoking so you know that they like to smoke you can invite them to smoke after like oh so i'm having this get together or we're going to the smoking pie after we're gonna get some pizza with some friends like okay. like the guys that are here you when y'all going to get the pizza too. Huh? when y'all going to get the pizza we're gonna be there in a couple hours it's actually oh, right, down the right street. now <laughs> you want to go now Let's We're go. hungry right now. Okay. Let's go. I'll walk go. you right there. Okay. So you go, you and your, you and the four, three girls and your three guy time. friends. You guys go get the pizza. Okay. Now what? You got We're, an Uber, by the way. You can't walk there. Yep. You could walk there. No. My from, feet from Collins yeah. to Lincoln Road. Yeah. Naked. Collins to Smoking Pie. Nigga, that's a trek. That is not. My feet hurt. Is... I don't want to walk there. Yeah. Twenty minutes. Yeah, that's a long walk. Nigga. What are you gonna do? <laughs> nigga. What are you gonna do? Freshina. I you guess. Gonna I guess I'll nigga? get you. Marina. Hey. So what are you gonna do? Okay. You gonna call an Uber? Uh, that's already too much trouble for me. Next. If you grabbing about the Uber, I'm you ain't gonna get you. no pussy. Next. I'm telling you, it's not easy. Yeah. I you gonna sell it? I see my pick. Oh, okay. So okay, hold on. So you you go to DMs, right? DMs for sure. Okay. Well, hold, hold on. Did you give up? Are you done? Um, she said I'm, I'm going with you. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, if you want to go with you, how are you going to get them in a pizza spot? Okay, so um, I guess we'll just go together. We could get a ride if that's really what you want. An Uber? We could just okay. Walk. Um, and then after the pizza, you know. No, no, no. You're no, at the no. pizza spot. Now what are you going to do? Now the bill comes. Okay, you pay for the bill as a man. If you invite a girl out, her you and her pay. three friends. Mm, mm. Mm. Okay, so if you invite all three friends, yeah, you gonna pay she, for them. They're the not gonna leave. All right, yep. so you pay for all of them. Then they're like, okay, because cool. you're inviting Hold on. them. So Hold on, let's gonna... be real here. I ordered cheese pizza. There's pepperoni in this pizza. I don't want this. <laughs> Take it back. And Damn, you got you know throwing curveballs. You know what? Curve you, know what? Like... you know what? I'm annoyed, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> I want cheese pizza, <laughs> nigga. But now, now we're making like, it too hard. I'm really trying to get that ass. <laughs> yeah. if, like, if I really want that ass, I'm going a, I'm to a give you the fucking See, pizza. See, you, know you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to give you the fucking pizza. Oh, I mean, she right, sounds let's obnoxious, not, though. Let's not, not fucking oh shit. Oh, my God. I'm like, <laughs> look, I'm enough. talking about real fucking scenarios that I've seen. No, no, no. And that's why you made a little hard there. So, yeah. okay, so you, so you, okay, so you buy the pizza for her and her friends. Mm -hmm. Cool. Now they tell you, all right, well, we're going to go back to our hotel now and get ready. What are you going to do to that? Thanks for the food. Okay, well, at that point, you you lost the game, bro. As a man, you lost the game because you didn't reel her in as much. But um, you tr your goal is to leave with her to your hotel, <laughs> not her hotel. It's like, she want to get ready? I got you with the outfit, babe. Don't worry. We'll get man. you an outfit okay. on the way. So she says, oh, so you're going to tell her I got you with the outfit. All right. She's going to say, all right, well, uh, what do you mean? What are you going to say? I mean, what you need me to get you? You need some heels? You <laughs> well, need I like some Gucci. Clothes? I like Prada. 
That should ain't. Well, I mean, is Lincoln open at that time? Let's say it's open. Let's say 7, 8 p.m. You said right when the sun's setting, right? Fendi Louie. Okay, well, shit. I ain't doing all that for a bitch I just met. Okay. <laughs> so she's going to go to the room with her friends and get dressed for the club. Gone. Okay, well, then bye. Okay, so you took an L the on that fuck? one. I already did you just wasted. I tried. You just wasted about two hours on talking to her, giving her free weed, and giving her pizza. That's Congratulations. Like $200 right there. First of all, right. first day, and nobody Uber. want that oh. now. Uber. Yes, pizza. That shit look crazy as hell, hell yeah. bro. South Beach pizza. <laughs> so, okay, so you took an L, baddie. Do you have something else you would do? <laughs> look, y'all said how to pick up a girl. I know how to pick up a girl. You clearly well, you didn't say That's nothing it. about, like, No, we said get sex. We said, how are you going to get sex? Not pick up and give her a random free pizza. And weed. <laughs> we said, how are you going to get sex? That's man. why I laughed as soon as you said, I'm going to give her weed. I was like, all right, this is up for you. <laughs> man, you took an L there, man. They need to buy your course, bro. No, 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 no. Usually, I want to hear what she does. Liquor and weed. It's hard. It's hard. I'm defeated. Because you've been yeah, quiet no. the whole show. I want to hear what you're going to say. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How would you do it? it? I would slide in her DM. Look at, look at her interest. Maybe watch for. Wait, wait, you are going too fast. What would you say? What would you say exactly? If she's in the R, I'd be like, oh, I got this studio. I want you to come paint. I'm in California. Ah! I'll pull up. Hold on. Let's go get some, Luis, some... you do the role play. Imagine you're a girl. Like, <laughs> all right. So, all so right. You, you damn him. He's a girl. All right. What do you say to him? Um, Luisa. <laughs> Look at him. He's, uh, you're doing it with him. Luisa. <laughs> Luisa. Okay. So I'd slide in your DMs and I'd be like, wow, this painting is beautiful. I want one. I just heart it. No, you, you'd be like. That's what I do. Oh, what you would, would you do? heart it? Yeah, I heart it. I double like it. So how much to get one? Which one do you want? I like the red one. Five hundred. Okay, bet. Um, <laughs> I would be just be like, okay. Um, <laughs> you're not buying it. <laughs> yeah, don't lead. Don't, don't mislead. Be direct, right? Yeah. I'm this is crazy, direct, bro. I love hearing this. Because guys, hard. guys, we're so Shit. methodical on how we're gonna get this done from the beginning, and girls are like, it just happened, right? It's like the number one response the girls respond for one night stands. Yeah. They interview them. The how did that happen? They go. It just happened. Blueprint. Guys, we pre-planned it like the fucking weekend before. We're thinking, mm -hmm. all right, you live closest to the club, so we're going to pregame at your place because we know that we can go here afterwards. So this is the spot we're taking, and we're like the military. You know what I mean? Women have zero appreciation for the effort it takes shit. to actually deal with them, bro. That is true. Zero. And I get so what anyway. you were saying because she was going off of me. Like, that's a good way. You know, I like art. You better pay for something. Or yeah. I've had somebody book me, and they and I they booked me for a, a whole shoot. I got to do hella. I got paid a lot of money, and they just were like, I just wanted to be around you. And then I got to see their personality, and it was they were dope as fuck, and it grew from there. Did you fuck them? I mean, that ended up being my nigga. So. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's like, okay, it worked. But he, it worked. He Success. respected what I did, and it was like, and it was dope. And I, and now looking back, I'm like, I see what you did. Yeah, but he took the <laughs> long way felt, to do it. But like, yeah. yeah, it's the long game, and he was interested in, you know, I think. Y'all said a week. Y'all gave us a, the game. Yeah, a that's short, a short time. short time. Yeah, why the hell should a week is too long? Like, I, I know. know a week is not oh, long no, at all. Because I probably saw you like once or twice that week yeah, yeah. so I'm not it, gonna fuck you the same week it's easy for you guys to say that cause you don't pay for the dates and spend the time <laughs> okay yeah. you want so some going pussy back, this segment. so going back to what you were saying so you would he, so he double hearts your joint now what are you gonna do going back mm. be like I'm gonna ask for a painting okay and then I'm gonna say do you need paint do you want let's go let's go to where do you we, where do we need to go to get your paint supplies And then I can buy my own supplies but thank you <laughs> she's not gonna say that she's gonna be like you haven't built any she will, right? oh, yeah. Hold on. if she she's will. attracted to you and she's harding your stuff back she's gonna be like oh remember this is a cold me. dm he she likes... don't know you yeah, she he... don't know you this is a cold dm look we might be bad guys but y'all are bad girls okay uh fuck <laughs> Y'all yeah, are bad are girls. Y'all are bad girls. Yeah. Play. He's like, there's no pepperoni on my pizza. No, well, crazy, is, oh, crazy scenario. Outside of that, outside of, that, outside of the, the pepperoni on the pizza. <laughs> Let's keep it a thousand. Every response I gave you guys was extremely probable. You yeah. guys no, laughed and was. smiled yeah. when I said it because it was exactly what happened. And Louis is giving you guys some probable things too. He yeah. just likes your shit and you say, I'll buy you paint supplies. I could buy my own. No, nah, because if somebody's dropping 500 on a painting, a girl's going to be interested. I want him to buy more but, of my but shit. Hold on. You didn't say you're going to buy the painting. Yeah. Yes, you're actually going to. No, she's not. She, she said she would. I want a painting. So. Okay. And then Louis. So I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll sell it to you for 500. Here's my Venmo. Now what? You just go. <laughs> you I don't know fuck? how to do this. No, I wouldn't say that. But I'm really like on a week. What can I, I can show you guys scenarios it? for all of them. This is none of it requires buying shit and doing all this crazy stuff that you guys are doing. In a week, though. Yeah, in a week. 
Okay, so you know y'all what? just trying to back hoes. No, 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 not even hoes. Please, not even, not please say all of them, man. Give them a scenario here. All right, please so if it's do. Instagram, so Instagram's pretty like efficient these days, especially mm. if you got a big following. Mm. So if I'm gonna DM a girl, I'm gonna do something creative. You know, depending on how I look at her profile, she's the artsy type or very logical. I can kind of get a you know idea for her. Uh, I'll do different things, man. I'll, like sometimes I'll just like pics to see if they like my pics back, mm -hmm. and then I start seeing it's mutual. It's no different than like if you're talking to a girl and I shake her hand and she shakes it back. She's agreeing. There's like this agreement that's happening. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I'll just type in meow. You know, some girls are like, like it, like you're funny. Or I'll say like, sup ma? And I'll put like little brackets and I put insert thug voice. <laughs> <laughs> and girls are like, laugh my ass so off. Lame. You're funny. <laughs> and then uh, I just keep it going from there. You know, what's a place like you doing in a girl like this? And just start chatting it up. You got to be a little bit creative and don't be boring like every other guy in there. Right. I don't even follow him a lot of the times. You know, I'll just do that just to get the conversation. They have to like earn it in that way. But it's for their benefit that it's this way. Otherwise, you're just a simp that's throwing out money and you're leading with that. Which is what all the girls did. Yeah, right? Yeah. So I'll I don't buy do that. Painting. I'll go to the club. I'll buy you shoes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like It's like if you're leading with money, you can't get mad when she, you know, leaves you for another guy with money because that's what you led with in the first place. If you're leading with showing your ass out in every picture, you can't get mad when you wanted to fuck another girl with her ass out. Like, that's what you're leading with. You're attracting it, right? So I'll never lead with that stuff. Instead, I'd rather DM them. If they get cold, girls are so addicted to their phones. It's just this dopamine, hit, dopamine hits all the time. So if anything, shoot them a message. Don't respond right away. Go have an interesting life. Put some cool shit on your stories where they get to see you and they can see what you're about. They can look at your pictures and think, oh, he's kind of a cool guy. Oh, he's skydiving or he's doing this. He's at this club. Oh, man, he's friends with this person. They'll start responding because they're checking. They check you out in a safe way on Instagram, it's almost better because they can look at you without being creepy. Mm. You it know sounds what I mean? like more than a week, though. No, yeah. I can have it quick. I can. Because, right. look, because I you, straight up, I, I always make it... already or a check mark no. already? Yeah, yeah. Instagram but is I like, always make it a man not... versus girl thing, period. Yeah. Like, I'm not there like, hey, like, let's... I'm not saying, oh, I want to buy your paint. It's like, I think you're cute. So I, it's right away established man versus woman. You know what I mean? I'm not beating around the bush. And, um... But, see, I feel but see, like... Instagram is very, um... In the moment, you can do it from your from your bedroom, wherever you're at. So it's very in real real time. Uh, in person, it's kind of like you got to build attraction. You got to find the person. But Instagram, you could be anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. The fastest way to get a girl is if you bring some type of value to her. That be rich and of famous. Interest. No, that is of interest <laughs> of her, to her. So like, for example, an artist. I'm I'm gonna tell y'all a personal like how how I got bagged type shit. So. The interest was music. They piqued my interest through my hobbies. So, oh, yeah, like, uh, my homie engineer, you know, we could build a studio. That man did not waste time to um, do what he told me he was going to do. Fuck, yeah, I gave him the night of his fucking life, but he <laughs> built my studio, you know, like, he, he really followed through with what he was saying. He added value. He he added something to my life that was a value to me in a more of a, um emotional way than, like, physical way. That's a I, huge risk, though. Because he's yeah, under he no... He's not guaranteed pussy, so he's out here doing this extra shit, and he might not even smash. Facts. That's facts. Like that's, 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 facts. that's very... It's uh, a risk. It's a risk, but if not you a really risk worth like, taking. if you like yeah. the bitch enough, then you will do it. Hell, fucking no. That's a, not a risk worth taking because when you do that, a lot of girls are gonna look at it and be like, "All right, this dude just did this for me. I didn't really fucking earn it. All right, cool. I'm a finesse." Like a lot of girls look at it like yep. when, and this is the thing. I'm not even gonna knock you, ladies, <laughs> for it, but women always look at men as like a utility. So what can this motherfucker provide for me? And if guys are too willing to provide you value without any getting anything in return, girls are going to finesse and girls do Women all the time. Women are naturally like that, though. We we need a man that could provide for us. That's what, that's what we're attracted that. to. Yeah, I understand that. But a lot of girls will just use that man for the provisioning and not give him sex is what yep. I'm trying to say. Oh, yeah. No, there's plenty of women like that. Facts. A hundred thousand percent. So then you can't tell the guys who do that then. Yeah, that's it. I mean, so even in your them. own example, you tried to lead with giving value up front. You actually get, did it in your example. I'll give you weed. All right, y'all want mm -hmm. some pizza? You got to offer take out something pizza. that you know they think is a value. But what happened? You got left. You got to offer them. They left you at the pizza parlor. I that think a funny intro is a good way to go. Like, you say a funny joke or something like that, and I'm you like, make ah! them laugh. See, yes. see. Like, it's so funny, and I'm like, oh. You give them a compliment or you make off. them laugh. <laughs> yeah. That's the first initial interest. So, I like the funny thing. So, um, let's do Super Chats.
Yeah, uh, we've got a couple here. That just yeah, came guys, in. like the video. There's 6,700 you guys watching right now. Do me a quick favor and like the goddamn video. There's only 5.3k likes, so we only got 300 likes during that whole segment, guys. Um, it's Morning Star, twenty dollars. Women are definitely made to share. Why do you think? Uh, nope, we read that one already. Uh, read that it's one. Zetians. Uh, <laughs> Nobunago read that one. Jay Wen, Miss Tiger Shirt is beautiful. Nope, we read that one already. Uh, uh, Wayne. Fifty bucks from Wayne. This is sad and funny, ladies. You couldn't pick yourselves up as a guy, much less another woman. <laughs> and then Mr. Onizoka, <laughs> ladies are. Uh, let me help you out. Be the wingman and take one for the team. They never said they, they girl you got to smash has to be a baddie. Damn. <gasps> oh shit, that, See, that's that true. changes the game. That's <laughs> the what, factors yeah. matter. <laughs> well, you know, want to know a secret? Even a fat bitch is gonna make you work for it. Yep. Mm. There's no easy way out. What, you gotta suck her titties a long time or something? No. We don't You want to get shame. to that point. <laughs> exactly. Yo, actually, they're harder most times than the, than the, the baddies, actually, because the baddies are kind of insecure. Those other girls are like, oh, my God. Yeah, average girls, bro, are like some yeah. of the worst ones. Yep. Because here's the thing with average girls. They're cute enough to get attention from higher status men, but they're, but they're not cute enough to, like, keep them. So they just fuck like these guys, right? And then you got, like, the regular guys think, oh, I got a shot with this chick. So she's getting it from both ends. You know what I'm saying? So she's in that weird middle ground where she's like, I'm attracting high status guys. I can't keep them, but I'm, this is what I'm worthy of. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the regular guys yep. that are talking to them all the time, pumping them up. And they're like, oh, well, uh, you're below me, motherfucker, because I fucked an a, a NBA player one time. So, yeah. it, so like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Because like, once a girl gets to a certain level, everybody, and y'all know you got yeah. you, all of you got to grow in your friend group like this. I have enough drink in my drink. You know, every every one of y'all got a friend in your gr friend group that yeah. you know she's not that attractive, but she's fucked an NBA player or somebody, and she can't go lower than that now. Yep, her yeah. lifestyle set is I already agree. set. Yo, Whoever I date next gotta guys, be richer than on. the last. Wait, 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 wait. Pause, <laughs> pause, pause, guys, guys. Get fresh to 50k doing his live stream. He's Yo, at 49.9 like, right I'm now. I'm 50 subs away from hitting 50k. How many 50k guys? 50 all niggas in here. So I can stop here at 50k tray, man. That shit. Yes. <laughs> Tired of that support shit. your boy, man. Yeah, this nigga to 50k, bro. Putting in daily vlogs every single day for y'all, man. Shout out to y'all in the chat as well. Blessings, but 50 subs, that guys. That's all I need right now. Uh yeah, get them to fifty. Uh okay, anything uh, else? Uh so ladies, uh I guess we'll turn it to the ladies. Any last questions, thoughts, questions, criticisms, anything like that, or points of view? We'll start here. Start there. Just thank you guys for having me. It was fun. You're welcome. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Question, critiques, criticisms. Thoughts. We still want the gifts. We still want the <laughs> lavish dates. We still want all that mm -hmm. and loyalty, please. Bruh. <laughs> okay. She did not learn anything during Fairy the show. Tales. Right? Fantastic. <laughs> Fairy tales are See, lovely see? to read. Yeah, I just want to be happy. I say that all the time. But yeah, it's always refreshing to like chop it up with you guys. So thanks for having me. Welcome again. back. Thank you. What about you? It's Columbia. I like the show better than the last show. There you go. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, you were here on uh, <laughs> BET Uncut. BET Uncut. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that was the night the girls were going to fight each other. Oh, the girls. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't there. Oh. Weren't they your friends? Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, I wasn't involved. I was back here doing me. <laughs> hey, she's like, yo, I'm not black. I'm not getting involved. Yeah, in for shit. some of y'all that missed it. And this is why I'm, I'm telling you guys all the time, bro. Communication doesn't matter shit for women. It's how you say things, not what you say. Fact. So we had uh, s &C in the house, right? Shout out to her Twitch streamer. She was here in the corner uh, sitting where Baddie's at. And then we had some girls on the couch. And uh, there was a comment about, hey, have you ever done OnlyFans? And she was saying, I had done it before. But, you know, I'm getting expunged, whatever. And then we asked the girls at the couch. And uh, they're, you know, hey, have you ever done OnlyFans? And they said no, but they said it in a way that triggered, you know, essence, because they said it in like a way as in like, hell yeah. no, nah, we're above that shit. And she read into it, and she's like, well, y'all, y'all need to change your tone, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh fuck, here we go. Bruh. And uh, yeah, they were gonna scrap, which was hilarious. And we knew but Chris we bringing up. so many of them in the same room. <laughs> listen, what listen. The fight? Ho hood chicks from North Miami. <laughs> listen, over <laughs> here. <laughs> hood All chicks right. from North Miami. I wasn't here, but one guy bought five chicks, so I thought he could handle it. But end of the day, when I when yeah, Chris I was, was there, sick, he wasn't here. Yeah, I think you yeah. set us up, bro. Hey. I think you set us up. Maybe. But I, I'll tell you this though. Uh, what's her name, man? The one that said I'm a stepper. Sh 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 Shauna. She's funny, bro. Yeah, she's cool. She's funny. <laughs> she's funny. <laughs> oh. I'm a stepper. We were downstairs. They're, they're waiting to jump her, bro. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah, they're, they're waiting. waiting. They're waiting, bro. Yo, I mean, we got but Doc, funny though. Doc Hank, oh, 100 bucks. CC Matthew, elegant feminine. Yo, 500k per year, six foot black doc. Check me out. Icon down the road. Hey. Just don't don't go through my phone, please. Oh my god. Yo, he's at the icon on the street. What's your Instagram? He oh, wants it's CC Nicole, C I C I Nicole dot underscore. And thank you so much. Send our DM, brother. Yeah, hey. so send your DM, my Doc. <laughs> okay, what about you, buddy? Um. Can I give like a shout out to yeah. my sponsors? Yeah. Okay. Well, wait, 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 wait. Like my sponsors and shit. 
right. And then um, I mean to make it quick. <laughs> yeah. So we usually charge niggas for that. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, so thanks. It's my team, so it's like you know I'm very grateful for them because we're making some things happen. Um, I got a trip coming up next week in Los Angeles. Sure. Um, so shout out to Reno for making that trip possible. Um, shout out to IOI Records. Shout out to Tay Duns, um, and shout out to Mike from Atlanta for the upcoming work that we about to do. Um, excited shit, excited stuff. And we got this brand coming up, Smoky Hearts, clothes and like other stuff, mm -hmm. you know, we coming up with. Um, so I'm excited. Smoky Hearts, OnlyFans is Baddie OG. Follow me. Cool. All right. Cool. What about you? My finals, final words. Follow me on Instagram, Chris Rissé, <laughs> C-H-R-I-S-S-Y-R-A-S-H-E. Talking to Mike so he can hear you. And ladies, please get your nuts. Get your nuts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Get your right. nuts. All right. So I just want to say thank you all for having me on here. This is my first time down in Miami, so this was absolutely a fantastic time. I appreciate all of the insights. Like I love that we have. And you're a good sport. Thank you. Thank you yeah. so much. Absolutely. I I crave and thrive on that opposition and hearing you guys's. We you know, are the opinions. ops for sure. <laughs> absolutely. So thank you so much. I'm just I'm truly truly grateful. Certainly, if y'all are out there and y'all ready to uh, make a bag in this legal weed industry, please hit me up. Like well, for sure. You in California? I'm in Ohio, actually. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, what part? Yeah, I'm in Cleveland. Okay. I'm in Family Cleveland, Ohio. Hey, However, the Browns. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm the director of a national uh, nursing uh, cannabis nurses association, and so I'm all 50 states. And so my curriculum is available in all 50 states if you're available cool. or if you're interested, for sure. All right. Cool. Nice. Uh, they cool. said. Uh, someone said, uh, "Fresh, you got to give your body count because you hit 50k." Oh shit! You're right. <laughs> I know. Shout out to Fresh 50k, by the yeah, way. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to you guys. Yo. Yo. Good stuff. Shout out to everybody in the chat, man. Yes. Miranda, quick. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, though. I appreciate you. But um, body count? Wait. Huh? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. All right, body count tomorrow. Oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, Damn. Trey spoke. Trey, hey. Trey spoke for one. Trey, oh, Trey said it. So tomorrow's body count. But yo. Shout out to Wait, we're not, we're not there tomorrow. Oh, no, mon yeah. mo Monday. Ah! Monday. Monday? <laughs> so, yo, shout out to everybody in chat, man. Appreciate y'all. Yo, this is a fire ass show, man. All and together, Luis. awesome. And Luis, finally. You, well. you give us the final word, bro. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for having me out, number one. And, um, man, I thought you girls were going to get into more controversial topics over here. I was, oh, I was, I was ready to hear it, man. Fighting. Yeah. Just but, no, nah, it was a good show, man. Thank you guys for having me. No, definitely, right. definitely was. Man. And also, I, I'm gonna go live tomorrow on my channel. I'll give you guys my full breakdown, my, my body count, and how I got it. Oh shit! Okay, yeah, there you go. Mm. All right. Yeah, yeah, you should do that actually. Yeah. Cause... Um. Okay, and then we got uh, right, 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 read that one. Let me see. If, 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 uh... No, be good. be good. Yeah, yeah, Doc and Cock, we we got you, man. We we read your chat. Got you, bro. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh yeah, oh, go. okay. We got no, no. Venom two three three three. Uh, twenty bucks. As someone who was on Ocean Drive earlier today, I'm six foot in decent <laughs> shape with cement Jordan threes, Gucci belt with the wife beater. On cold approaching y'all. Oh no! They all walked away with their friends. So nah, baddie. Yeah, nah, nah, you can't have you can't have a white beater. You can't have a fucking tank top. Nah, you you look like a bum. <laughs> no. Well, he was put on at well. least a t-shirt, man. At least a white tee. You can't have the white beater and then expect the wives to run. But he's a, but he's a or good shape. expect the wives to come. You know, good shape, man. Right. And Jordans and shit. No, nah, don't wear belt. Jordans either. Wear some Nikes. Oh God. Okay. All right, you can't win, guys. So anyway, with that said, man, we'll catch you guys on Monday. We're gonna have a Money Monday. Uh, yep. I, I just closed the real estate deal yesterday, actually, guys. So I might, I might talk to you guys about that one. There you go. Down to Marco. Let's do it. I wouldn't die to Marco that one. Shit, that shit made me lose hair follicles too. So, uh, but yeah, man, we'll talk to you guys on Monday. And then, uh, Luis, uh, subscribe to his YouTube channel, guys. Uh, yeah. uh, to catch either and uh, life with um, life, life lessons, lessons yeah, with Luis. Yeah. And also follow him on Instagram. He has a blue check on there. Real Luis Mercado. Check him out. And guys, thank you so much. We'll catch you. The, the comment below for the algorithm. DMs on Man System is out. And then Patreon.com slash Fresh We're going to upload that video yep. of that bimbo that I kicked out yesterday. So uh, we'll catch you guys. Smoke. That Peace. bimbo. Yep. Peace. All the night, if I were.